Welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin MacLeod, Michael Gelfie Studios, Plate Mail Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Buckner. I'm the primary dungeon master for Knights of Roleplay and Adventuring podcast. This session is being recorded over Zoom because life has decided to throw some curveballs at us. I'm using a top-down camera with a map and minis because we're in the middle of a fight. As our adventure begins, it is start at 0111.83. The Rock of Brawl is under siege by the Elephant Empire's fleet. The party is on the bridge of the Empire's command ship in the middle of an intense battle with four elite shock troopers, the bounty hunter in red armor named Arcanos, Matisse's former Thrycreen employer, Mealfold, and a sinister mind flare in black robes with metal face tentacles named Zaxos, who is the leader of the Illithid Empire. The arena, the leader of the rebellion against the Empire, lies dead on the floor after having her brain devoured by Zaxos. Janie and Strax's constructs are stunned, Matisse is restrained by Arcanos's fiber cord whip, Arvine and Mealfold are under the effects of Arcanos's slow grenade. So, adventurers, let's resume the combat encounter. All right, I throw out my grenade and blow everybody up. <laughs> so, uh, we are in the middle of round two, and uh, we are on we are on Neil Foles' turn, the Thrycreen, former mob boss, former employer of Matisse, who is under the effect, the full effect of the. Slow, uh, slow grenade. So, Mulefall basically only gets to make one attack. So, Mulefall is going to attack Matisse, attempt to bite. bite. And Arvin is going to sentinel attack him for his trouble. Okay, go ahead and make your attack. Okay. Mulefall is the mule. advantage. Mulefall has been meal foiled by his own ally. But thank you, though. Right. Luna just attempted to roll my D100 off the desk, just FYI. Nice. (laughs) But the question is, did she get a good roll? Oh, that's a critical on a 19. Yes. (laughs) Get rid of him. Don't have the All same right, the same these, bird. Uh, get these off to the side. I mean, SMR fighter rogue, attacking with the laser sword and critting on a knight. Dice, for yeah. The custom feet that I made. So the custom dice. weapon that I made. Super fun. Been a cool campaign. For... <laughs> All right, we've got more sneak attack dice, and we've got more. Mewful goes to bite. Other dice. Leaves themselves vulnerable. Arvin takes advantage. Okay. Yeah. Three Arvine one. takes advantage. Three ones. No <laughs> one. Oh, da 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 Calculating damage. <laughs> Well, uh, Sarah is calculating damage. It just tried to eat my microphone. So that is uh, 58. 58. Magical force damage. Sadly, no Asmar damage because I did read that this is one of these things D and D Beyond didn't say the whole rule, but then if you expand it, the whole rule is there. So Asmar damage is only on my turn. So it's still twelve sneak no. attack dice. So okay. Only Kate would complain about only doing fifty-eight damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm clarifying why I didn't add in the Asmar damage because we had had that adventure where we thought that I should be doing it, and we did all the research, and then it was wrong. So that's all. So I'm trying to be open and honest. So with that hit, uh, Mulefold is bloodied. 
Oh, I thought he was bloody before. Apparently uh, not. Am I, am I miscalculating? Hold on. Pretty sure. <laughs> you said 58? Yeah, 58. But he he was bloodied like during my turn. Oh yeah, yeah, you're last right. Last no, adventure. You're right. Yeah. DM is mathing. You're mathing your butt. <laughs> okay. So uh, takes that hit and still tries to bite Matisse. That is going to be AC 25 on the T's. That will hit. Okay. So that is eight, uh, 13 uh, piercing damage. And then okay. I need Matisse to make a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Yeah. liquid comes uh, out of Neufall's mouth into the bite. Now, is this rolling with a disadvantage? No, because it's not a dexterity saving throw. Okay, so constitution. Yeah. Uh, you should, right, so, don't forget your buff too, man. Okay. So... Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, so um, that is a failure. So this this liquid pours into your veins, and you are suffering from the poison condition for one minute. Okay. Uh, Which is like disadvantage on attack rolls. And... Uh, if if you, I'm sure you're going to probably apply it indeed to beyond, and it will tell you. Hmm. Now, this has nothing to do with um, a disease or anything like that, because I'm immune to those. You're immune to what? Um, disease. So if it's not anything that has to do with that. No, it's not, it's not a disease, no. I'm a disease. <laughs> oh, wait, has, uh, did, did I math right? Hold Chris's on. Chris's butt is a disease. <laughs> So it was a constitution, correct? Correct. Yeah. I thought your constitution okay. was really good, Greg. So I didn't have plus five to the dice. Jeez, Greg. So I get seven more, so it's actually 21. Okay. So you are not poisoned. <laughs> now, Chris's butt is definitely a poison because that's stinking cloud. Whoa. <laughs> he, he, he stinking clouded himself. That's really the most nah. meaningful thing we've witnessed. I was so excited, and then Greg took that away from me. Thanks a lot, Jerk. Oh. <laughs> well, there's Good still job, a brain. Jerk. There's still a brain on the floor. <laughs> um, it's not in a jar. It's <laughs> definitely in someone's tummy. And oh. let me uh, let me describe the battlefield again for the listeners. So, basically, we have page twenty in the Loki in the Loki um, uh, giant book of, of sci-fi battle maps. Page twenty. And it sort of looks like the bridge of a ship. Uh, from our perspective, we have at the far back of this map, we have Janie and GH88 and SD02, uh, who are stunned. Uh, a little bit into the room, we have Strax standing behind a wall of stone that he is concentrating on, which is holding at bay four of the shock troopers who are on the right side and, and outside of the wall. And down on the lower level, uh, we have the. Uh, Yarina on the far right with no brain. And then on the far left, we have a massive battle going on where we have Zaxos and then Matisse. And then Neilfol is flanking Matisse. And then Arbine is flanking Neilfol. And up in the air, right near them, flying around, is the bounty hunter and red armor Archimonds. So uh, I just did an attack with advantage uh, because Neilfol is not only flanking, but Matisse being restrained as um, uh, an attacker has advantage on that. So, so actual four dice, and I picked the better one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so that was Neil Pohl, and now we're on to legendary actions. Ooh. Uh, 
which uh, Zaxos is actually not included in this one, but Yay. Uh, Arcanos <laughs> is. And unfortunately, again, because of this big clump over here, it's difficult to use the flamethrower. So <laughs> terrible. Ultra terrible. <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> so Arcanos is going to um, take out a laser pistol and just shoot him in teeth. Here's your pistol. Okay, no, not that one. Yeah, this one instead. Got it. Laser pistols don't do a lot of damage, but whatever. It's basically a free attack. Here we go. Uh, that is a C30 with a laser pistol. Boom. Hey, Greg, do you still have your reaction? Uh, yes. Yeah. I could. Well, no, I'm restrained, right? I, I don't know that, that doesn't stop you from, keeps using you from taking reactions. Okay, so I guess what I could if try you, to uh, parry it. You're not affected by the slow grenade, right? No. No, he already saved okay. out of it. Yeah. Uh, so yes, Greg. Um, uh, even though your fabric cord whip is around Matisse's arms, you still have your laser sword out, so you can attempt to parry that laser blast with your okay. with, with your laser sword. Okay, so I will try that. Okay. So use your reaction, and then. Um, I don't remember the exact wording on how I wrote that. But. Yeah, it would be in features and traits under the laser sword feet, Greg, if you need to look it up. Features and traits. <laughs> okay. Uh, so when you are blah, 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 uh, you can use your reaction to reduce the attack's damage. The damage you take from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus your dex mod plus your character's level. If a laser is deflected and you reduce the damage to zero, you can redirect the laser by making a ranged weapon attack with proficiency at any target within a range of 40 by 120. The damage from this attack is equal to the ranged weapon's normal damage plus your dex mod. So that's what it says. Okay. So, so you, you roll to reduce the damage. Okay. So, and I roll a d10. So let me get one of those. Or I can use the one on D and D Beyond, <laughs> but that would be a pain. Okay. D ten. Just put a whole bunch of red dice out there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this one that has twenty, thirty, and whatever on it. Okay. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, it says 10. Uh, it's 10. Okay, plus... Why don't you add something to that? Uh, let's see, my dex modifier is... Plus 3, so it would be 13. Plus 13. your character level. Uh, plus uh, 20. Plus, plus half your character level, I believe. Oh, so it would be okay. 10. So it would so. be... Okay, so, 23. so 23. So you reduce all the damage. And, oh, nice. And you uh, you can now make a ranged attack and try to deflect it. Um, at all right, so now I roll for, roll just a normal roll, but not my weapon damage. Uh, no, you're, you're rolling with disadvantage because you. Okay, because restrained. of restraint. Yeah. So, so at that point, dice. it's like you, you could attack Mulefull with it because it doesn't matter. You already have disadvantage and Mulefull's right in front of you. You can attack Arcanos, like whatever you want, right? Okay. So let me roll for this here first. Who, who are you attacking, though? Uh, Milfo is right next to me, so. Okay, so try to deflect it at Milfo. That would make sense. Oh, cocked. <laughs> Cock. Okay, so to hit. So it's plus 11. So I'll use the lower dice. So it's 18 to hit. 18 to hit. Back and forth on my sheets here, because I have less real estate <laughs> on my desk than on the, on the table. Uh, 18. With the minus two AC, you can see it's fully slowed. Uh, it, it's going to hit no matter what. No. Nice. Yes. Ooh, AC tracker. <laughs> OK, and I rolled my damage dice. So basically, it is a it is a D four plus your dex mod. Okay. 
so d4 plus my dex mod. All right, which I'll have to get one of those two. <laughs> put, put a bunch of your dice out. <laughs> well, they're not dice I normally Greg's use. Greg's not used to, yeah, it's a rare corner <laughs> case for him. <laughs> like all my dice are like d8s or, D, or d20s. It's generally a good idea just to have like a, an array of dice. All right, all right, fine. Good idea to have a good array of dice in your butt, Chris. Ooh. I, I can roll them from my butt. They just smell good. <laughs> Jeez. I would think that would yeah. be hard to pass, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, if, if, you don't, if you don't swallow them, you just stick them in and then pull them out, then it's easy. Okay, so it's four. Fair shake your head, yes. <laughs> He's got a so point. I, yeah, so I got four on And not the, just on the top of his head. Hey, oh. oh. So I got four I got on the them. on my D4. Oh, nice, Greg. Watch your dex mod. And my dex mod is three. Great, so seven damage. Two nice, Greg. So Arcanus has you in the proper card whip, shoots laser laser uh, laser pistol at you, and you deflect it with your not lightsaber, with your laser sword. <laughs> not mule full. Seven damage. Doing awesome not Jedi shit. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yamati. <laughs> All right. I'll take my giant dice that uh, Kate gave me out, and I will use those. <laughs> okay. Giant. Dice, 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 dice. So that dice. was Arcanas' <laughs> legendary action. So then the shock troopers. So let's see. They're going to file <laughs> back down here around the stupid wall of stone. <laughs> oh, darn. Hey, Strax. Peace. <laughs> Make sure you label them right. <laughs> no, I'm taking damage so far. <laughs> I don't care. Label them right. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. So let's see. Based on what they are seeing in front of them, we'll probably just start opening up on our room. So let's try some laser attacks from the shock troopers on our moon. Okay, which I'm pretty sure that I took damage from uh, Arkanos's fire flamethrower on the last turn, so that would mean that you're not rolling with disadvantage on my displacement cloak, because I took the damage. Okay. So, I'm not paying to say something. <laughs> These are just regular attacks. And uh, D8. Fire like shock troopers. Actually, no, that's actually. Hold on, let me let me check. Let me check something. No, they wouldn't do that. They are smart enough to know that there is a person there who has disadvantage, who they can attack with advantage. So they're going to attack with advantage on the person that they can, uh, which oh. is uh, Matisse. Or Matisse. Well, Matisse is the <laughs> highest armor class, so, you know. Tank, got a tank. <laughs> uh, Tank's probably, dress. It's probably about the same either way. Um, but they are smart enough to say, hey, that person is restrained. So let's see. Are they shot shooting me? Shot, yeah, they're shooting you with, with um, what their laser uh, pistols. Bastards. Actually, they, they, have, they have laser blasters. It's a modified laser pistol. Right? So first yeah. attack from A. There we go. With advantage. Advantage. Uh, AC 24. That will hit. Okay. So that is for 8 force damage. Okay. Attack number 2 from A. Uh, AC 25. That will hit. For 13 force damage. Okay. First attack on B is AC 25. That will hit. 12. Okay. Second attack. Oh, 
29. <laughs> yep. Yeah. For 12. Okay. Shock to proceed. You see 23. Yep. For 11. Who taught these guys how to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> they are elite shock troopers. They're a little better than the other one. Actually, a lot better. AC 27. Yeah. For 12. Okay. And then last shock trooper. No, and 10. <laughs> AC 27. Yeah. For 11. Man, that's upon fire. Oh, critical. <laughs> Wah, wah. Uh, but the critical is only actually uh, nine. <laughs> that serves you right. <laughs> so this is flurry of laser blast from the laser blasters from Chuck Troopers. <laughs> oh Blast God. Blasting. <laughs> I am bloody. Bloody. Oh no. But he also has a ton of Okay, so that's the shock troopers. So then we have the actual Arcanos, whose turn it is. Um, can Arcanos get in there? Uh, what is Arcanos? His current, his current status. So many things to track here. Here we go. Okay, not too bad. Uh, people are still around. Everybody's getting in the way of his flamethrower. Um, so Arcanos is going to uh, fly down. Yeah, Ar Arcanos will actually risk an opportunity attack so that Arcanos can get close enough to Matisse to use the flamethrower and then fly back away. Uh, so that way, he, Arcanos will not hit the other his, uh, their their allies. So Arcanos flies down. Does get within melee range of you, which is uh, uses the flamethrower. So I need you to do a deck save with disadvantage. Very big money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait. Okay. I got a one, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you got a one. Well, Greg, the damage is a whopping seven. <laughs> I rolled super low. It's, it's seven fire damage. Okay. So uh, Argonos flies back up, which gives you an opportunity to attack with disadvantage. Oh, sorry, you don't have your reaction. Never mind. Yeah, ne neither of us have our reactions <laughs> at this point. We both used them. Uh, so that was Argonos. Then we are on to Strax. I'm going to an artificer, fighter, and two stun constructs. Concentrating on a wall of stone. Silence. <laughs> oh no, almost it never cool. happens from Strax. No. Just Strax has probably heard a bunch of gunfire so he can guess that someone's taking a bunch of damage out there. Uh, <laughs> a lot of pew pews. Pew pew. John, nobody can hear you. John, you're on. muted. Maybe Georgie jumped up there and disturbed his flow. Oh. There we go. Was it that oh. one? Okay. Yes. Gary, I'm yeah. sitting here chatting away, telling you what it is I'm talking <laughs> <to>. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I'd have to yes. spot. Oh, for the listeners, we all thought you were being very, <laughs> yes. very quiet. <laughs> yeah. You've got so you're many like, options. Uh, being so yeah. thoughtful. <laughs> you're thinking and it's too very... bad because I was hilarious earlier when oh. all these other things were going on. <laughs> And we're all of y'all missed her, and Aww, that is entirely man. to your loss. Well, I'm sorry. he was hilarious Bye. in his mind. His own so, mind. did we really miss uh, it? No. Absolutely. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, taking three steps to the left to look around the edge of the wall. Three steps to the mm -hmm. left. I look at the left. One, two, three. <laughs> three steps left. And I am going to. Uh, times. <laughs> take aim at a flying bounty hunter and okay, nope. use uh, I'm going to see, uh, just test this out here uh, I am not going to take the sharpshooter penalty because this guy is a tool and use <laughs> uh, where is it <laughs> <laughs> is it that Mandalorian armor? 
<laughs> you're a tool. You're a tool. You're a tool, tool, tool. You're a tool. You're a tool. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh. Trip attack. Are you, are you seeing I am to rock the Yamadis. No. <laughs> I'm going to take my one shot, and I'm going to shoot him with a my Commander Strike trip attack. Oh. He's going to take his shot. Commander Strike. Strike. Uh, and I hit a uh, 21. Ooh. 21 does it. Okay, then that does a Terran total of 5 plus 4 plus 9. Uh, 15 damage, and he must make a strike saving throw. Is it 15? Uh, 15 damage, yep. Okay. Uh, strength saving for us. <laughs> Dice here. Go. Strength save. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just confirm the DC on that one. Oh, okay. Yep, I know it's wrong. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the DC on that is 17. 17. Okay. So, um, he fails, but since this is going to uh, drop him prone, <laughs> uh, Arkanos is going to use a legendary uh, resistance on that one. Okay. Well, burn up the burn legendary that. resistance. Burn that resistance. Yeah, good job. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Arkanos did take the damage and was wobbling around up there trying to regain uh, regain attitude control and manage to do so. Yep. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to attempt my save. Is it a wisdom save? It is uh, against the grenade. It's a wisdom save, yes. Okay. Are you still slow, John? I'm not. I'm only partially. I made my initial oh, okay. save, but I'm still partially affected, so I have to Most save out of it. Save again. Again. And I rolled a one. Buff. Okay. Uh, so we're still partially affected. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take one step back behind the wall. Yeah. Um, if you want to take, I mean, technically here, somebody could maybe shoot you if you want to go one more. But it's up to you. Uh, let's you see, one, cover. two, five, ten, fifteen. You could 20. go back three, even if you, you move three, you could move back three. Well, I, I move two. I can move back two. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't knock down my wall. <laughs> uh, okay. So that was Strax's turn, and um, the, did uh, your Strax's save on stuff? The the, uh, the, the uh, save, right? Or, or the, uh, the they uh, make it. Um, One well, of them can't. You don't know what the save is, right? It's like we suspect it might be twenty, but if it's lower, they probably could, right? <laughs> well, I, I think we had it pretty uh, pretty well nailed down. Uh, let's see, GHD was a wisdom save. Yeah, he gets no bonus, but no penalty either. Got it. Uh, he rolls a two. I'm, okay, this dice is retired. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but uh, GH88 uh, is mathematically incapable of making the save. Try it. Do you, do you know exactly what the save is? I haven't really said it yet, so... <laughs> Of wisdom, so no, that's it. It is like what? I thought SCO2 was the one who had like the wisdom that was in the in the pits. Uh, I thought GH88 was a... okay. No, oh, you're right. Maybe I'm messing that up. I was looking at their intelligence scores. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> okay, they both have a wisdom of 10. So, all right. Uh, and he rolled a 10. So, okay. I'm probably not gonna do it. No, nope. they're just <laughs> Okay, so uh, that was Strax. Now we're on to Janie, who has the pleasure of making a saving throw. Uh, right. Janie. <laughs> it's wisdom, right? Correct. Yep. Which you had to do right? I am rolling with D&D Beyond tonight, I have decided. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> Nice. 22. Good one. 22. Um, 22. Hold on. Just pretty sure that makes it for me. Double check. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yes. Janie is no longer stunned. She shakes off 
Akanasa's mind blast effect, which the droids are still under. <laughs> nice. Good job, Gene. Yay. Gene, Gene, time to go ape shit on your next round. Well, on my next round, yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is Jamie Clash our Sorceress. Take her ring off. Yes, please. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> Condition ring has been removed. Yay! <laughs> Next turn, stunned again. <laughs> I didn't like it, so I didn't put a ring on it. <laughs> so we are um, up at the top of round three. And uh, we have Arvin, Asimar, Fighter Rogue. Okay. Hmm. Tough decisions here. I rolled with my clockwork dice. If you go look on <laughs> D&D Beyond, you can see them. <laughs> <laughs> they make clanky noises when they roll. It rolled with clockwork dice set. Look at that. <sighs> tough questions, tough questions. So many things to track. I really want to kill Mulefall right in front of me, but I only have one attack if I do it. So that's the second part of the slow spell, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Alright. So... At this point, Arvian's going to try something a bit unconventional. Maybe even, dare I say, Strax like. Um, <gasps> What? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, just to check, does yeah. outside the box? Does Mealful still look um, like slowed to me? Uh, yes. Does he pretty, seem sluggish? It, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious. Like he has no reactions. Uh, okay. You don't, you don't know that for sure, but you know that he's under the that he's under the effect of the spell spell. Okay. All right, so she is going to, let's see here, take off away from him, and she is, so she's going to fly diagonally upward, and with six squares, she's going to try to get up on the, the balcony, like right to the Wait, right of those two on, computer hold screens. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Um, this is not a May. I, I'm... I'm... Before you do that, <laughs> okay. Uh, I did not roll. A, oh no, I did roll a save for him. Never mind. I rolled a save to see if he get out of it, and he failed. Never mind. Continue. Okay, so he's still. Yeah. All right. Which well, he would have disadvantage on the attack too, because the cloak is back in full effect. But yeah, so I thought he might not have reactions. So she's gonna go one, two squares up diagonally, one, two, three, four, and get onto the, the little round part of the ten foot balcony. That oh, is up here. Yes, yeah, so to the le one square to the left of that is reviewing it. Yep, right there. Okay, okay. That's as far as she can get with her move. And from up there, uh, I guess I have two questions. Uh, does the wall of that balcony offer any cover if I were to like crouch down or something, or is it low? Um, I would say that you could probably get like half cover from somebody shooting down below. Okay. All right, so she is going to point at um, Zaxos. Okay. And she is going to use the swashbuckler panache capability. Or pan Ooh. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but panache. she's going to look at him and say, uh, it was a pretty crazy space station that you destroyed a whole planet with. What a shame that I blew it up. And Ooh. he has to make... Not a save, but a contested check. So my persuasion against his insight. And if I succeed on the check, he has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than me. Can't make opportunity attacks against other targets than me. And it lasts for a minute or until one of my companions attacks it or affects it with a spell. Um, let's see here. Or until me and the target are more than 60 feet apart. Okay, so he has to contest with an insight, you said? He does, yep. Let's see. Okay, and what did you have to roll? I had to roll persuasion. 
Okay. Uh, which I have expertise at. Okay. So uh, I got a 27. Okay. He did not get a 27. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you said disadvantage on attacks other than you? Yep. And uh, it can't make opportunity attacks on anybody other than me. And then lasts for a minute until he gets attacked or affected by a spell by one of my companions or until he moves more than 60 feet away from me. So I point at him and somebody, I say... If somebody attacks him or casts a spell on him, it, it breaks? It does, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. But I, she's thinking about her buddy Matisse, who's in real dire straits and how he seems to be very fast and capable of attacking a lot very quickly. Okay. So uh, she's so, going to say... So, just, so, just, so when you say that, you, you yeah. get Saxos's attention, so Saxos's attention seems to be um, somewhat focused on you. Okay. And she is going to crouch down, so she has half cover up there okay. on the balcony. Sure, sure. And uh, let's see here. I get to make a save now to get out of the slow effect, right? And what yes. is that save? Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom to get out of that. Okay. All right. Come on. So, <laughs> <sighs> so. Okay. Actually, pretty respectable. So, with Matisse's buff, that is 20. Uh, you're no longer within Matisse's range. Uh, I think I'm still within 30 feet of her. Oh, is it 30? Yeah, yeah. yeah her, her ability improved. extended range when she hit, I think, 18th or 19th level. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. sorry, what did you get again? So 20. Yes, you shake off the effects of Arknos' slow grenade. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Oh Just god, like, oh god, what did I do, what did I do? <laughs> all right, and, and, and Just turn. so you know, all of the buffs that I have are all 30 feet from me now. The mm-hmm. other buffs being um, resistance against spell damage, is that right? Yes. So, and or... and the immunity to being frightened, too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right. I forgot to swap in my quiet keyboard. <laughs> Does it go clack it 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 Chris, I just sent you a message when you got a bit min- oh, okay. second. Yeah, I, I can take a second to look at it. Uh, let's see. Where is the chat here in Zoom? There's the chat. Uh, okay. I feel like you had asked me that before. Yes, Sarah. Part of the adventure. And... Um, I, I think that what I had said was that you don't really know for sure, um, because some some creatures that use that use psychic abilities, some of them are resistant to the damage and some of them are not. So you're not really sure with regard to this particular illithid, this particular mind for access. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, let's see. Close that. One. But I think you can make some valid assumptions. You don't want to just assume, but, you know. I remembered that we did some specific research in the library on Illithids in general, but I couldn't remember. It was so long ago, you know? Yeah, I, I, I mean, that was a long time ago. And I, I think that was like six or seven or eight months ago. <laughs> 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 By game standard, you know, like real life standard. Right, right, right. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing you know, legendary action for Arkham. Fabric Card Whip is, our, is still on the tease because these rounds have a lot of things going on. The laser Pistol was not very effective, so Argonauts probably wouldn't use that. Uh, the Flamethrower is still kind of out of commission there because of the positioning. Um, so that leaves two other options. Let me see. I <laughs> Uh, okay, there's there's one more option here, which 
is not ideal, but that's okay. I didn't expect everything to go exactly how I wanted. Uh, so Arkanos takes another grenade out and throws it up at the balcony where Arvin's character is. So I need you to make a wisdom save with your Arvin. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, those things they got. Yes. Right. Yeah, I, I'm hoping there's a cap because that's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's like no no ranged attack involved, <laughs> no concentration. No. Pretty cool though. Very it's thematic. Magic, magic got him spelled. Very thematic. Okay, that's not quite as good. Um, <laughs> So I do not think that that is going to make it, so I'm going to use the Lucky Feet again. All right, so we're going to try rolling another d20. Okay, that's much better. All right, so uh, we are going to do 27. 27. Okay, so you get the partial slow effect. Okay. All right. Uh, and again, let's see. So, uh, Zaxos is not in that legendary action, but now it is Zaxos' turn. So, Zaxos' turn, and there is still a restrained fiber cord whipped Matisse. Right. Which at least he has disadvantage to cancel out advantage so <laughs> uh, yeah if Arkanos makes an attack on um, on Matisse it would be just a regular attack because of the trait that you used uh, Arkanos has a target right in front Green just told him that she blew up his whole space station. Maybe he already knew, but I doubt it. <laughs> Give me a second here to look through these this giant page of options here. <laughs> um, Find these things out ahead of time, Chris. It's seven <laughs> characters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't taunt the DM. <laughs> it's no fun unless you taunt the DM. <laughs> Do not taunt. Happy fun, DM.
Sorry, this is a complicated thing. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do because of the rules thing that's coming. So this is what is going to happen. So I've looked up this rule because it is relevant to the situation. So Arkanas is angry at Arbeen. Daxos? I'm sorry. <laughs> what did I say Arkanas? You did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, Zaxos is is upset with Arvine at the moment for her, her uh, possibility there. Um, and uh, retorts by saying, well then, I suppose I'll just kill your friend here. And Arkanas casts a spell on Matisse. Oh no. A power word kill. Oh, oh no! Oh, Counter spell. If can you hear? Uh, yes, if you can hear it. Oh, hold on, you can't see this happening. Hold on. 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 Able to see a creature. Yeah, and you got a big stone wall in the way. Oh no! <laughs> so this this dark energy wraps around Matisse, and Matisse's body sort of like shrivels. And um, actually, I, Greg, how, how many points do you have? I have ninety-four. Ninety-four. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So this, so this almost didn't work. <laughs> oh. um, so so Matisse's body uh, falls dead to the ground from Power Word Kill. And I checked your Undying Sentinel um, feature, Greg. Because it says, if you're not killed outright, and this spell is killing you outright, if you were, if, the, if anything was happening to you that would cause you to be in a state where you were uh, making death saving throws, then Undying Sentinel would trigger. But this is not putting you into a state of making death saving throws. This is making you dead. It says it doesn't kill you outright, but this kills you outright, so that feature doesn't apply. Now, th this wouldn't stop you from resurrecting. So um, I believe that you, you don't resurrect immediately, though. I think it takes like a week or more. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, it, le it leaves a window yeah. for Revivify. Basically. Yeah, I can still get a Revivify on you. Right. If I can get out to you. So, so power word kill <laughs> kills Matisse because Matisse has less than 100 hit points. Oh, no. And Matisse is dead. Marvin just lets out a scream of rage and you all hear it. I'm not going to break your mics, though. Piercing. <laughs> um, and that is Axos' turn, and then it's Matisse's turn, and then it is on to... <laughs> Legendary actions, which again, Zaxel doesn't get that this turn. Um, and then it's Mule Fall. Who says, <laughs> even though Matisse can't hear it, you shouldn't have broken the contract. <laughs> uh, okay. So, with that, Mule Fall. He's very slow. <laughs> yes. Very slow. Half speed. <laughs> fully affected by the stupid Arcanos. Although, although Arcanos thinks it's worth it after seeing the T-score down. Um, so Meofall will... Um, the only person that Meofall sees at the moment who is on the team of the good guys is a crouching down RV. So Meofall will... Take their 
one attack. With, Against me? Yeah, with a, uh, a ranged weapon called a Chachka. Okay, and that will be with disadvantage because I have my displacer clip. Okay. Disadvantage with the Chachka. Plus half cover. Mm-hmm. Plus, Plus half, half cover. cover. What, yeah. what does that add to my AC? Two. Two, okay. Uh, so that is, um, it would be AC 21, but with the cover, it's AC 19. Okay. Miss. Miss. Okay. And the other die was a natural 20, (laughs) just so you know. (laughs) (laughs) So, so, so so the displacer cloak and the cover both help. (sighs) Okay. And then... Uh, let's see. Mealful is going to. Uh, where's the speed? What's half of Mealful's speed, I should say? Mealful is not going to fully move out there because Mealful is not stupid enough to walk around the wall and make it pasted by whatever comes out of it. Um, <laughs> so no full moves. Actually. Here. That Falls turn. Uh, and it's on to legendary actions again. Uh, there's not a whole lot available here. So uh, Arcanos is going to uh, shh. This is legendary action. Hold on. Using it to move. Yes. Yes. Going to be a, a laser uh, pistol attack with disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage and cover. Uh, that is AC. So it's, it would be AC 22, but it's AC 20 with the cover. Okay. All right. Uh, that that meets. That meets okay. Yeah, I think she's gonna uh, just. She wanna carry that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. We're gonna parry. Parry, okay. Yep. So it's a D10 plus Dex mod plus half my level. Yourself. Mark up that knife level spell slot. Ugh, what? Gross. Um, let's see here. It's X six. So it's gonna stop sixteen damage. Okay. So you can um, so you can definitely uh, deflect it and make a ranged attack. Okay. Uh, she's gonna deflect it down at Mealfall. Um Mealfall has total cover from you being up there. You are crouched down. Okay. Tap you down below you. All right. Uh, she's gonna deflect it straight back at our our Ar- then. Okay. Not stupid enough to hit. <laughs> the access. That effect's probably gonna run down shortly, but. Eh. Once the casters get this point, Arcanos Ar- is like, stop shooting people with laser swords in my blaster. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
All right, so I'm saying Arcanos, which is, a, it's a D4 plus my dex mod, is that if I hit? Correct, yep. Okay. All right. All right, big money. Funny, off please. Bug, that is probably not going to hit. Uh, and it's with proficiency, right? So it's proficiency plus dex to yep. hit. Correct. So that's a whopping AC 15. Okay, so it shoots past Arkanos okay. and it's not hit. Yeah. Still didn't take the damage though. Alright. Okay. So now we're now we're at uh Shock Troopers. Okay, so um Zaxos kind of like motions up toward the the, the catwalk. <laughs> Crazy time. <laughs> Well, on the ones right below, they would have total cover, just like yeah. uh, Mealful had total for me. Yeah. Fifteen. So they're going to move back into positions where basically they just like the half cover. Trying to get some half cover on our With disadvantage, because I still haven't taken damage. Disadvantage, okay. Yeah. So, D8. So, uh, letter A. Letter A is uh, 17. It's going to miss. Second attack is 19. Just going to miss. B is 24. Which is really 22. Okay. Uh, That will hit. It's 10 force. 10 damage, okay. Yep. Uh, second attack is 28. Uh, 10. Okay. Yep. Okay. Shock Trooper C is a 29. Oof. A 9. Okay. And then AC 23. Okay. But adjusted is 21. Keep track of that. Okay. Uh, is 6. Okay. And then Shock Trooper D, uh, 18 is going to miss, and 25 is going to hit. Okay. For another 10. Okay. They're rolling good damage. They are. They're rolling good damage. They're rolling really good to hits, too. <laughs> I've never had Shock Troopers in this entire campaign do so good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting uh, to doubt their wait authenticity. Until Janie gets a hold of them. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing there's um, a big wall up. <laughs> you just wait until I get back. I'm very, very cranky right now. <laughs> uh, okay, that was them. Uh, so yeah, then... You didn't even get to heal your 10 points, Greg. That's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would have had it had I got Right? My turn. I know. Yeah. Freaking Zaxos, man. Arcanos moves up jerk. and use a flamethrower on you there, our, our being deck saving throw, please. Okay. All right, that will be a 23 with evasion. 23 with evasion, okay. 23 uh, with evasion. That's what I said, 23 with evasion. Okay, I thought I heard you say one. No, no 23 with evasion. It's really 23 with evasion. It's your butt with evasion, <laughs> in fact. Is okay. that really evading if this is butt? So, so you succeed in... I would evade it if it was his butt. <laughs> <laughs> you succeed and take no damage. Okay. Um, so now Arkanos is like, okay, I can't shoot lasers at this person. I can't use my clamp at this person. Let's move on to somebody else. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Vaxos. Arkanos. Five, 10, 15. Are these, are they using, leg, are they on a legendary action turn? I'm sorry, I'm lost. No. What? What is it? No, there, there was, um, there was a legendary action turn. There was shock troopers. 
it goes Arcanos, and then it goes Strax Chain. Okay. So Arcanos is just finishing up his turn. Okay. They just go so many damn times. I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a campaign ending fight. Uh, okay, so we are on to Strax, Hobdouble, and Artificer, Fighter, and Constructs. Ah. Uh, I... I'm trying to remember, is is dropping concentration a free action that can be done at any time, even if it's not my turn? I'm pretty sure that is the case, but I will look it up. What did I just do with my player assembly? It was right in front of my face. Does it say somewhere in the beyond on your spell section? It's, uh, no, I think it's just under general concentration rules. I'm pretty sure you can, but I would double check here. Um, concentration. Um, you can end concentration at any time, no action required. Any time, no action required. Okay. All right. You could have dropped concentration for me to counterspell, in other words. Uh, I mean, he would have had to have psychic awareness, though, for you to bring Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, in that case, I want to attempt something. Okay. Uh, sorry, Matisse, I am not going to be able to get you up this turn. I wouldn't have moved to get down there anyway. Do you um, have action point, John? I, it's, this slow effect is killing me. Yeah. It, it is really gimping me. Oh, okay. Um, so what I am going to, even even though it's not the full slow effect, just, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to attempt is a, uh, and I'm kind of surprised I didn't think of it earlier, uh, dispel magic on myself. I don't have anything else going on. Uh, uh, actually, no, I can't do that because that will kill my... Uh, um, items, won't it? Or magic items, temporarily. Yes, it will. Okay, crud. Um, <laughs> crud. Yeah, and, I, and those are I kind of need. Uh... Oh, good. Is the action Jane, point Jane disabled is... by the slow? Janie is so waiting for her turn, and John's gonna like take the longest turn possible. <laughs> I know. Yes, I'm, we already I'm, determined I'm, that the action that the <laughs> action <laughs> points were disabled by the That's well. Sarah. Is slow. I, I I can't. Yeah, I can't use the action point to get another action. Roger, right. Roger. Or, 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 or to make another. Uh, you, you can't make one on one attack no matter what. Right. We determined that last re, yeah. last adventure. For sure. Ah, okay. So that's right. So that was my what I was going to do, but now suddenly I'm shortchanged. Sorry, Janie. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think ahead. I just keep screwing up at the last second. Uh, let's see. Although I would, I would allow something like if somebody was under the slow effect, um, and they have like you know, I can spend an action point to get us a bonus to a save. You know, something like that. I would allow. Okay. But you, but you can't get one. I'm not under any effect, and I have reactions to help bend luck and stuff. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Janie is no longer stunned, so she can do that stuff. I no longer in, under any of those things. Yep, she is totally, totally in the clear. I am totally free <laughs> for now. There it is. <laughs> okay, well, uh. In that case, uh, it probably is time to drop the wall now that you actually can move again. Although, yeah. Her turn is next. Yep. In which case, I can actually click my heels together and fly down to uh, Matisse. I have the move for that. Okay. Right. So, 
Is the Strax is so, going to drop the wall. So that is probably my best. Well, I can't Mr. guarantee Strachikoff, it's my best move. Break down that decent. wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can't guarantee it's my best move, but it is a decent move, I think. So, yes, I will drop the wall. Break the wall. Ding! All right, there, Chris Jericho. <laughs> okay. And yep, um, I do have, and I can, uh, I can fly straight down to there. Yep. And I can get a revivify going on, on Matisse. Matisse, slap you in the face. <laughs> Wake up. So, so you have enough speed even with your. Um... Yeah. But... Oh, I'm not. Sl- I'm not. My speed isn't half. Yeah, the reduced effects of slow don't cut speed, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have you don't have the fall effect. Yeah. Yep, correct. Okay. Just so, the partial effect. So the wall, the wall of stone drops down. Strax uses the wing boots, or, or the we'll say the rocket boots, right? Rocket boots. The rocket boots. To, to his artificer rocket boots to fly. Down yeah, the only place. one that can fly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then you. And Janie's just standing here, surrounded by <laughs> two stunned droids. <laughs> And right. Strax, you, you take out some sort of a um, artificer uh, device, and you yeah. put it on the oh. piece. And... It's, 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 it's a little uh, 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 defib device or something like that type thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. so he's, he's electricity shock through and his body, and his body uh, like quivers a little bit and like shocks around, and then <clears throat> you take in a Jamie's deep breath. still pretending he's... to be stunned, by the way. <laughs> 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 okay, so and you are alive, and you are with one hit point. One hit point. Drax, <laughs> I'm not. I'm no guardian angel. Get up. <laughs> and, and and there is the leader of the Oath and Empire standing right above you. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a future. Oh, that's hey. future Strax's problem. <laughs> uh, he no, still talk, has I'm disadvantage about on you guys. I'm talking about the person standing right over Matisse. He mm-hmm. still has disadvantage on you guys as long as he hasn't been damaged yet. Which mm-hmm. Arvine would have told you guys about that so that everybody would know that she has the ability to do that. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, and, all right. Uh, your uh, words make, try to make saves. Uh, let's see. Saves all around. But first thing, just sh- shout out to Janie. Um, uh, <laughs> grab the shots. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so for me, GH88 has GH88 has adrenaline shots on him. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Uh, he has just for uh, how many does he have left? Um, I, I <clears throat> sorry, I think he's only got one. He's only got one shot left. It's better than zero. It's better than how zero. Many, how many charges? <laughs> That's what I mean. One charge, oh, one shot. It's one, something. One. <laughs> yep. Okay, so for me... Uh, since Matisse is now awake... Uh, let's see. Yeah, you that, is, uh, that gives me a wisdom roll of... 17. 17? 17, yep. Any modifiers or anything? Uh, well, if I... I feel like I have to um, Unfortunately... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> There's so many things you guys can do in this group. I just want to make sure you, you know... Is, this, is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, give me a second. Give me a second now, because I don't have reactions, but I think... Oh, but I've already used my saving face. Um, but do I have to use my reaction for my other one? Hang on. Are you flash of genius? John's like, just yeah, more, I have just, to use. Just yeah, twenty more minutes, Sarah. Just twenty more minutes. To be <laughs> I, I have to use my reaction for flash of genius, and I don't have a reaction right you now. You know, I've only been I waiting don't. for an entire adventure and a half <laughs> to actually do something. Just keep. Just it's fine, John. Just, Save you know. just. Savor the anticipation. Are, you, are your constructs <laughs> um, free? I, my constructs no. are not free, and I do no. not expect them to ever. I well, probably have it. to roll a natural twenty. Try uh, it, man. I, I'm, 
give me a second. Hold, hold on, hold on. Wait, I was wait, checking wait, wait, to see wait, if wait. I had on, any other on, modifiers. Sarah, okay. do you are you applying anything to John's role? I'm not sure how your thing works. I don't know if you know like I wasn't no, listening to John's role because I was answering Kate's questions. What? Sorry. <laughs> um I've rolled a 17 to break out of the slow effect. All right, and I haven't, I haven't announced if that's a, a success or not. Um yes, I would like to attempt to add uh bend luck to that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, go, which go is it. to sorcery points. So let me spend those. One, two, confirm. It's one reaction, and it's 1d4. So let me roll that on CD and D beyond. I want to see those dice. And it's a two. <laughs> it's a two. So that gives me a grand total of 19. Oh, shit. You are still affected. Damn it. Uh, I, it. Uh, I knew it. You have to roll a 20, is which means. Brutal. Greg, if you pull that up is. the roll list on D&D Beyond, you can see my oh, wait. rolls. Wait, hey, uh, does John? my two yes. things Yes, because you're conscious. Because that conscious includes now. that. Uh, uh, I rolled a 15 on the dice, and I have uh, no wisdom bonus. Uh, John did, wait, do you have John, saving John face, John? Say, yeah. That requires a reaction. He said that too. He said that too. Uh, he said he she was too busy that. asking me questions. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. All right. What did you use your reaction for, John? I don't have a reaction because I'm yes, slow. Yes, you do. The slow effect does not include taking away the reactions unless you fully failed the save. You still have your reaction. Is that? It, wait, is that? The reactions is in the first sentence of the spell. So yes, you have your reaction. Oh. I thought I didn't. I thought I didn't have my reactions. All right. Well, but by uh, all means, I'll just be quiet over here and let you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Chris's call confirm it is in the first sentence. So if you don't have that, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Well, then Chris's call. I can add plus one. Let's see, five, ten. I can add plus two to the roll, but. You've already declared, but you've already declared the results. So, no, 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 it's it's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. I can use it. Okay, that gives, that gives me twenty one. Okay, so you shake off the effect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a flash of energy from Janie, and nice. Strax does not want to be embarrassed, so he pushes yep. through. <laughs> <laughs> So then, All right. then, then the droids. Uh, for droid number one, unless it's 20, rolls a 19. Ooh, almost. <laughs> almost. And droid number two, rolls a 13. Yeah. I don't expect to see them anytime soon. <laughs> okay. So now we're on to Jenny. Let's take a break. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was Sarah's, hard. Sarah's gave me the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Janie, Clash Door Sorceress, after an adventure and a half of being stunned, it is it is your turn to take a turn on stun. <laughs> is she frozen? She's frozen with that finger up, and I think that is perfectly Oh my goodness, she is frozen in character. with the middle finger up. <laughs> I thought she was just holding it there and I'm like, oh no. She's actually frozen. Is she real? <laughs> She's oh, frozen no. with the middle finger up and <laughs> It's my joke cool. made her computer crash, apparently. Yeah, she, she's... Oh, let's, no. let's give her a second to come back. Her she texted. <laughs> her computer crashed. Uh, so I um, her, she has so, been waiting this long, and suddenly, and now her computer crashes. I'm so sorry. Sarah says, your joke made my computer crash. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. There she is. Getting there. You were frozen with the middle finger. We thought you were just staying very still. (laughs) And I thought that very appropriate. (laughs) No, no, no. Although Janie is still pretending to be a mannequin. No, your joke was so bad and so offensive (laughs) that it crashed my entire computer system. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, Chris. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Janie was very unimpressed. If, If Janie does not come out here Fitting fire and brimstone to just burn them to ash. I'm going to be very disappointed. 
the power of crit. That psych extreme, you. a pile of stormtroopers or something. <laughs> or fireball. This you fire. see what I did there? I said the power of Chris compels you. Oh, you. <laughs> Chris, go. What? We need an old Chris and a new Chris for your computer. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Janie, what would you like to do? Janie is first going to grab an, the adrenaline shot. Okay. Whatever is left. Yep, yep. You can do that. One shot left. Off okay. of uh, GH88. Okay. Is that a free flourish? And will I still have movement after that? Yes, and yes. Okay. Then, I die. And then. then. I am going to use my bonus action to Misty Step 30 feet. Boni action. 20, 25, 30. Can also be here if you want. Or on the ground below, right? Uh, you could up here, down here somewhere if you wanted, or down, or here down there to the yeah. I would like to be kind of um, down in. I can't point yeah. to where, yeah, in that area. Okay. As close to Matisse as possible, because yep. then I'm going to use my movement to get next to Matisse. Okay. Like um, so, so, so Zaxos is here. Where do you want to stand in relation? You want to be like right here, right here. As far away from Zaxos as possible while still being near Matisse. Okay. <laughs> so I'll put you on the opposite side. There you go. Okay. Um, Matisse is at one hit point. <laughs> I'm Whoop. then. I'm done. And then. Looking up that somebody wants to suck his brains out. I am going to hit Matisse with that. My best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fire away? Is that uh, is not two bonus actions though? Is that a bonus? I can't. I can't John, hit him with that so. with, for an action. John, do you have the do you have the description of the? Uh, uh, give me a second. Let's see. A adrenaline shot. Okay, the adrenaline shot can go to value. It requires a free hand to use and a bonus action to activate. If you want to use your action for that, Jamie, I'll let you do that. I would like to use my action to do that. Okay. So she hits a adrenaline shot into Matisse. And Go shh. John, you Matisse. the description. <laughs> okay. When used on a living creature on an exposed area of soft flesh, the creature first gain, regains an amount of hit points equal to one quarter their maximum hit points, rounded down. So you get a quarter of your hit points. Okay, so quarter of uh, 245. Which is 61, I believe. It's still bloody. And an amount of temporary hit points equal to their constitution score. Okay, so that's 16. Yes. Okay. So you have 62 In addition, hit points and 16, 62 hit points and 16 temporary hit points. Go ahead, John. In addition, they gain advantage on their next attack roll before the end of their next turn. Okay. Immediately following the use of this item, the creature gains one level of exhaustion. So I gain one level of exhaustion. Yes. Another mm-hmm. custom person. Uh, conditions, exhaustion, one level. Okay. I gotta say, I'm really happy that in the final fight, like my custom weapons, my custom items, my custom beats, like it's a lot of yeah. the stuff that, <laughs> that I made is still here. Relevant. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to mention that we're doing space, uh, the, uh, you know, all that pre D and D first for, uh, wild space and such. I don't know what you're saying, right? <laughs> I was trying we, to, help. we're doing spell jammer before j- spell jammer is released for fifth edition. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Um, so yeah. with, with that, with that awesome turn, James. I'm then, and then and would then. like to use my action po- my uh, fizzy point. Action. My fizzy point. Got yes. You can do that. Um, and with that fizzy point, I would like to rip a star off my robe of stars. Okay. Casting. 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 But not really casting. <laughs> a charge of magic missile at fifth level. Which gives me seven darts. 
Um, and I'd like to actually divide them up. I'd like to send... I don't remember everybody's names. You got uh, Mule I just Hole, say Bloody Fly Mule Guy, Hole. Insect Guy, and... You got Arkanos. Six. You got Zaxos, who's under my charm, and you've got all the Stormtroopers. So, so Bounty Hunter, Mind Flare, and Pride Green. <laughs> okay, so Insect Guy, I want to throw three at the Insect, two at the Bounty Hunter, and two at... Asshole. <laughs> sure, sure. Who's took, who sucked the brains out. Uh, okay. Be aware that will break the charm on Squid Guy. Yeah, but if I don't try to hit him, I'm never going to get rid of his re- legendary resistances. Fair. It's But it's magic well, this, missile. There's no resistance. There's, yeah, there's no saving Yes, around. there is. I'm We've had... Else? No, there, there's... It's it just... It does automatic damage. We, we've wrote, had other big baddies stop those, haven't we? With, with, with shield, yes. Oh, okay. Shield, yeah, the shield spell specifically negates magic missile. Okay. Um, in other, in that case, I will blah 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 that and just <laughs> split them four and three between fly guy and insect guy. Okay. Um, and send four at insecty. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna actually do this because I'm it, D&D Beyond rolls magic missile really strangely so I'm doing it this way <laughs> sure okay so that is 11 plus 4 15 for the insect ooh nice roll and 10 plus 3 so 13 on Mr. Fly Guy um Fly Which fly guy. guy has to make concentration checks, right? So, I don't know. Does he? <laughs> Probably not. What, what was the damage in the fly guy, Sarah? Thirteen. Okay. So the, the magical darts um, come off the orb of stars and uh, hit the bounty hunter, fucking awesome, do some damage, and then the um, the other missiles that come from that same uh, magic item. They they hit into uh, Mulefull, uh, Matisse's former mob boss, and Mulefull goes down. Yes! Woo! Yes! Well ah. done, Janie! Woo! Ah, oh, that feels good! <laughs> you, did, yeah. you did, right? You did 15 points of damage, and Mulefull had 15 hit points. Wow! <laughs> Nice. Genie nice. <laughs> uh, with the first kill. <laughs> Hello. You didn't have to oh, take three the, rounds wait, to do well, the first kill. You know, I was first enemy for RT, Uberhead. It's actually the third kill. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let's get off the brain stuff already. <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome oh. turn, Janie. Um, I feel, like, we didn't have I feel to like the DM is on a bit of a power trip tonight. It's not a DM unless you're on a power and we're, trip. it's time to bring him down. <laughs> uh, is that your turn, Jay? Um, I still have a little bit of movement, right? You went here, five, ten, fifteen. Use fifteen. Yes. I would like to back up fifteen feet. <laughs> <laughs> run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away. <laughs> <laughs> I could see Janie Jack Sparrowing back up the runway. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I killed something. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. So, Baby's um, mimicking my laughter. <laughs> uh, so that, so, so that, that's your turn, Janie. Yes, I can't do anything else. <laughs> okay. Nice so, job. So that that's is the awesome. end of round three. And the current state of events is that we still have a stunned GH-88 and SDO-2. We have uh, four undamaged shock troopers. We have a... Uh, the arena is still dead with no brain. Um, we have a dead meal full. And we have uh, Matisse uh, conscious prone in front of Zaxos with uh, Strax standing behind her. And Janie is close by. The Bounty Hunter Arcanos is still up in the air, flying around, being a pest. Uh, and uh, Arvine is on the upper platform. 
uh, taunting Zaxos, making it difficult for Zaxos to do things that involve uh, making attacks without disadvantage. So we are at the top of round four, Arvine, Asimar, Fighter, Rogue. Okay. So let's see here. She's under the lesser effects of the slow thing again. Um, I want to recall something from when Arvine almost got kidnapped and <clears throat> used her transformation for the first time. Okay. Um, I believe that we had done the rules of, of carrying it and Arvine was strong enough that she was able to pick up Janie and carry her with no reduction to her speed. Do you recall that as well? I do um, remember that. I, I I do vaguely remember that, and I, I think I probably ruled that with regard to um, Janie because she doesn't really weigh that much. Yeah, Janie weighs like under 100 pounds. She's yeah. tiny. Okay. If you were to do that All with right. anybody else, it would probably be half speed. Okay. All right. I thought it was, is it like a 15 times the strength thing? I mean, if you just want to make it like your gut check on it, that's fine too. I'm curious about the rules, but I'll do whatever. I'm just trying to keep us in line. Sure, sure. Okay. All right. So let's see here. So if I fly down and and pick up Janie, which picking up something is a free flourish and try to fly away, I would be at half speed after that, right? No, no, I'm saying anybody heavier than Janie. Right. I'm trying to get Matisse TFO out of there. Oh, you said somebody... Janie. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. I said... <laughs> <laughs> let's walk this back. Uh, I, Bye, let's yeah. see here. So Arvine feels like she needs to GTFO Matisse from the situation where someone could try to suck her brain out when she's still not that strong. So... Um, <clears throat> she can go... It looks like... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. To pick her up, and she would do it over by Strax so that she's not provoking. No, no, from... no, you can't, no, you can't do that. You have to be in Matisse's space. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Do I also recall the rules correctly that if I did pick up Matisse, that she would, um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Sorry, I'm brain frozen here for a second. It's okay. Um, uh, Matisse, Matisse is currently at 62 hit points with uh, mm -hmm. 16 temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess she's going to have to try and hope for the best then because she can't think of a good way to get her out of there with her action economy limited as it is. Mm -hmm. So instead, she is going to fly five, ten squares up and smash uh, Arcanos. Arcanos? Arcanos? I'm not pronouncing it right. Flag guy. Uh, Arcanos is on the same level as you. So you're saying you want to just fly over to where Arcanos is? Yep. Smash him, and then she's probably going to fly away again. So. So Arcanos so aerial battle. You, you just have to fly five feet, and then you can attack okay. and move. Okay. Oh, from the angle I saw, it looked like he was ten feet away because of the perspective. All right. Well, Thank you. Thank you for clarifying like, like that because I couldn't square. see it. Okay. All right. So yeah, he looks two squares away from our She's, angle. Yeah. <laughs> she is going to hit. Yeah, the camera's kind of tilted. <laughs> uh, You're kind of tilted. Yeah, that's true starting to get kind of jilted. <laughs> I can't think of anything that rhymes with any of that, so. Uh, yeah, so hitting our counts. Greg's imagination has counts. wilted. Uh, okay, I'm not going to boo that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... 
damage dice. We need a d20. Sneak attack dice. Hit him. With her best shot. Cocked. Fire away. <laughs> um, so let's see here. AC 21 to hit. Uh, this is. Okay, so you fly over to Arcanos, swing laser sword, AC 21. Yep. Uh, you, that's it, Arcanos. Okay. All I right, think it's the first so... time anyone's ever swung at him. Right. Uh, so uh, she is... has, has taken damage. I don't recall exactly what it was from, but yeah, magic missile. Oh, that, that's true. But, but but I've got a couple of hits marked off there that are not magic missiles. I think Matisse did some damage too. Oh yeah, that's right. Seven thirty-two plus twenty. That is fifty-two damage, Arcanos. That's it. Yeah, I'm I, disappointed yeah. there, Kate. <laughs> Lots of threes and twos and ones on this new deck. Kate, we're being sarcastic. <laughs> no, <know>. My God, <laughs> that's all. I did like a grand total of 27 in my last round. <laughs> it was very us. important damage, though. <laughs> you took down somebody. So that's Highly good. efficient. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, with that, it's, with it's, that uh, massive swashbuckling stink attack hit, you bloody Arcanos. Yay! Yay. Good. All right. So Destroy then, him. She is going to, well, she she's only got her one attack, uh, stupid grenades. Um, so she is going Aha. to fly back up um, and attempt to shake that effect. Right. And she is going to just uh, crouch down and take cover there. If I went further back on the balcony, would I have any more cover, Chris, or am I in the best spot I can be in if I'm where I started? Um. Are you, what are you trying to get cover from specifically? Like just everybody? Uh, from the stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. From everybody other than the flying dude who I know can just come after me whenever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to come and... back, if you want to come back to here, then I will say that you have total cover from everybody. Okay. Mm. I am wary about doing that. Uh... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but let's do. Okay. All right. That's takes me outside of all right let's see here let's see i'm sorry i'm really <laughs> frazzled actually you know what chris put me two squares up and one to the left and i'm just going to crouch down there and take the partial cover as i can get it oh i'm sorry where now uh just go two stairs two squares straight up from there yeah right right where i'm pointing Yep, yeah, right, right there. there. So, <laughs> thanks, John. thanks, John. That's all. Awesome. You're so welcome. <laughs> she is going to crouch down. She's still within 30 feet, I think, of Matisse to make her save here. So, that was her goal was to make sure she could still get that benefit. Yes, you're at 30 feet. Like yeah. Okay. So there we go. Mission accomplished. All right. Um. So here we go. And that is a. Wisdom or deck? What what is it again? Wisdom? Uh wisdom. Okay. Ugh, really? I swear. Um I don't really want to burn my last luck, so that is that is let's see here, whopping eleven plus Matisse's buff is thirteen. So hey, hold I I can't get you up. I can only get you up to 18. Okay. Sorry. Right. Yeah, no, th those are precious resources. I like my attacks, but I think I, I like having that. Having my I, lucky to use on a save where I really need it later on is probably more important. So. I just said I couldn't get our beam up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could bend the bar. Well, I mean, she's already if you up. Try, <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, I can't bend luck more than four. 
but if <laughs> the two of be, us worked uh, together, we might be able to get you up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it'd be brother a, sister uh, tag team after all. <laughs> but I'm fine. It's up to you. We'd have Come a seventy-five percent chance of getting it. <laughs> I try it. I'm if down. You if you're down. All right. Both we siblings gotta... watch each other start to move at the same time. <laughs> the world, <laughs> As the world is full of uh, chances. So, okay. Flash I've of genius. I've got three. Punch yourself in the face. Okay. You get plus five to that. Plus, plus three, another three. Plus eight more. So I had rolled 15, I think. So that's like a 20, 23. Let's see. I could have gotten me up to... on Arcanus's grenade. Yep. Mm, that is a success. Okay. okay. Right. I don't think it was 21, Woo-hoo! but I still think it's a success. Thank you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. And she, and she crashes down again. And Jane. Yep. Crashes down to have partial cover, but still be able to see what's going on. Okay, okay. Gotcha. All right. So. Let's get rid of that nasty bounty hunter. And it's Arvin's turn. Now we're on to some legendary actions. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, all right, sir. Get messing that up. Can't move. Uh, well, I could, but that's the one. Or, I'm oh, changing this out of range. So. Love those words. Genie's out of range. (laughs) (laughs) Best words I've heard all night. (laughs) Who's going right now? I'll take that hit if you want to burn Zaxos. Uh, It's a legendary. It's a legendary action from Arcanos, who's gonna use a flamethrower on Matisse. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, deck save. Uh, just a regular deck save, Greg. Digest him? Yes. I was considering him. giving Greg um, casting uh, greater invisibility on. <laughs> what is it? Matisse. A but... it's, it's a deck save, Greg. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Um, anybody doing anything to adjust that? Uh, I've only got one left and probably need to should hold it for something bigger. I just used my reaction, so okay. I can't do oh, it again. Oh, that's right. I can't. You're right. I couldn't anyway. And that was with your buff, Greg, right? Yep. So okay. it's, it's 12 fire. Sorry. Huh? 12 fire. Ugh. Well, so it hasn't temporary hit points yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you're just trying. You're just really trying to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> you're right in his face. <laughs> and I mean, like, <clears throat> well, so far the, uh, the 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 laser pistol and the flamethrower don't seem to do anything to Arvine. <laughs> and Jenny's a little bit too far away for for the flame. And so it's right. right there in the sweet spot. So the you flames. Can... Well, just the think sides of, this of way. my face. <laughs> well, just think of this you're... way. He is trying really hard to kill you, and you're taking it. <laughs> it's true. You are doing, well, your, you're doing your job. <laughs> you took it. <laughs> and and now we brought you back to take it some more. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, no. We need you. <laughs> Please suffer more for our sake. <laughs> All right, so is that then what paladins do. It, it is Zaxos gets a legendary action. God damn. Uh, let's see. What is? So <laughs> Still has disadvantage on everybody but Marvin. Understood. Understood. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Ice cream. It's the spice of life. <laughs> cup of noodles. Cup of oh, noodles. cup of noodles. Also the spice of life. 
Nice. Instant okay. lunch. <laughs> okay, since, since it's very difficult for Saxos to do anything to anybody other than the person who's adjacent, <clears throat> even though he, uh, Zaxos does get the, the, the penalty on the attack. Uh, I think that's Chris telling us that we should attack them at range. Zaxos is going to attempt to latch onto Matisse with the face tentacles. Um, Matisse is pro. Which His is ring came into play last but time. Zaxos is still very angry at our beam, so it's not advantage. It's a regular attack. Regular attack with attack. Oh, no, maybe it wasn't the ring. I think he just dodged it. Oh, it's a I don't know. There were some sort of shenanigans going on, but I can't remember. Zaxos was... tries, to, tries to reach down with the, with the metal tentacles, um, but Matisse moves her head out of the way, still trying to avoid that. <laughs> yes! She <laughs> 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 No hug, tentacles for Matisse. <laughs> No, no face hugs. <laughs> Three no hugs. Uh, Sorry, I just screened over the the, the thing. I don't you think you didn't clip it out too bad. The zoom kind of caps that, thankfully. Yeah. Okay, so then it is Zaxos's turn, and Zaxos does not like the fact that yeah uh, they are still suffering from this penalty because of this the stupid uh, stupid Irene. Um, Love you. So the sorry. stupid Irene. <laughs> That is stupid Irving. So, in that case, um, okay. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. it is Zaxos' turn, and Zaxos points a finger at Irving. Oh no. Uh oh. And casts a spell. <clears throat> Counter spell. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm so, sucking up noodles, man. I know. <laughs> so, so is he. That's the, pro- <laughs> that's the problem. Okay. So, so um, I've, I've kind of been waiting for this. He's sucking uh, noodles. I've kind of been waiting for this point so that um, Sarah and I can talk about about this about counter spell. So, um, what I think is probably the most fair thing to do because you and I both have it. Okay, is whenever you or I cast a spell of any kind, mm-hmm. we have to say what level it is. And then the person who's saying the counter spell has the chance to basically say, okay, that I'm going to use a counter spell of this level. Okay. Does that sound fair to you? Uh, yes. Because right now you don't know what spell level it is, but, but if we do it this way, I can tell you what spell level it is. And you can decide what level of the spell slot to use for counter spell, and, and, but but like Zaxos will also have that ability too. Because it doesn't make any sense to me that like we're casting out these spells and we're not really saying what level they are. It just makes it really difficult to figure things out. Yeah. That's honestly not too bad because I can buy. Um, I almost always tell you what level I'm casting anyway. Right, right. You do tend to do that, so I figured that would kind of be our policy. If, if you're cool with that. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I usually just kind of try to guess what level you're okay. casting. So, okay. um, so, so Zaxos is casting Disintegrate on Arvine at level 7. Oh, God. So okay. If you use a counter spell, if you use a counter spell that is less than that, you have to make an ability check to succeed. Okay. If you use 7th level or higher, that will, yeah. according to the rules. Negate. Right. Oh, God. Um, well, I do have a seventh level counter spell, so I will attempt that. Okay. So now, now this brings up a separate issue. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Zaxos. Can you counter spell a counter spell, or can he? I I, 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 did, I I did a bunch of um, I, I did a bunch of research on this, <laughs> and it, and according to, to the people at D and D who made these rules, they said that the person casting the spell can also cast a counter spell. Mm-hmm. So it just uses their reaction. Right, it uses their reaction. Right. right. And burns so, another spell slot. So Zaxos is going to burn another summon level spell slot to counter your summon level counter spell so he can cast his summon level disintegrate. But then you're casting two level spells in one turn. You can do that 
in this weird case Correct. because no, it, it's it's really weird. This only happens that that rule only comes into effect if one of the spells is specifically a bonus action spell. But we are casting a level, a regular spell, and a reaction spell. Okay. So it doesn't come into play. It's weird. Okay, so there is this flurry of magic between Zaxos and Janie. And Janie throws up this magical energy, and Zaxos also throws up this magical energy to disperse hers. And Zaxos' green ray reaches out and hits Armin. It's like, man, I got disintegrated in the last fight. Let's <laughs> and, and points of light. We've been this way. I know we've been through this. I, I well, did see shadows of the past. So me, me throwing out a counter spell does set off a possible wild surge. A surge. Wild wild surge. We didn't have you surge too. after your misty step before either. It's true. That's yeah, probably too late for that now. That's okay. Too late for that now. All good. Um, all good. If if you want to roll your surge now, though, I will let the surge take effect before. The, uh, the spell resolves. It's like the slow mo, like the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> that's a three. So that's a wild surge. <laughs> <laughs> so here comes the D100. Oh boy. Okay. Two D100s. What do we get to choose? <laughs> okay, so one's a 64. Okay. And one's an 87. Oh, it's 87 new? I don't know. Ah! Okay, so 64 is a fog cloud. <laughs> Put up okay. things up a bit. And 87 is casting fly on a random creature within 60 feet of you. Okay. Uh, fog cloud could be interesting. Breaks line of sight. I'm gonna let the fog cloud go. The the fog cloud won't stop the spell, but it will be up. If you want to choose the um, other one instead, that's totally fine. Oh, that's true because you've already cast it when one right. line of sight wasn't available. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Or. Oh, you already used your. Or does someone want to fly? <laughs> Fog cloud could make it really hard to to see and attack people from the melee people, but not impossible. Mm. Let's I'm gonna battle. cast fly yeah. on Matisse. Okay, yay! You are flying. All right, nice. and then Still Matisse can get away from Zaxos. There we go. <laughs> okay, so here comes some disintegrate damage for RV. Okay, do uh, I make sorry, a uh, save? Dexterity already said. Dexterity save. Okay. Oh, and cool. All right. That's convenient. <laughs> get it. All right. Here we go. Come on, dice. Oh, failed the crap out of it, but I have evasion, and it's a dexterity save. Okay, so you take half. Uh, I actually take half and then half again because I'm within 30 feet of Matisse. Oh, that's true. Spell damage. That's true. Okay. So, Yay me. Uh, Yay you. <laughs> and being awake. <laughs> Save my bacon. <laughs> and Janie, you, you made Zaxos burn another seventh level spell. That's awesome. Yes. That's Resource awesome. management, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now sizzle the shit out of those troopers. There's a there. reason why they tried to uh, keep me out of the fight. Yep. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> okay, so the spell slingers are crunchy, but once they're engaged in the fight, oh boy. <laughs> Free hugs. <laughs> All right, so you take uh, 19 damage. Okay. <gasps> oh no, whatever will you do? <laughs> well, that is better than disintegrating into nothing. Yes, much better. Okay. Irene yeah. feels like provoking him some more, so she kind of raises an eyebrow and says, Was that supposed to hurt? Oh shit. <laughs> so, so Zaxos looks Keep down. Keep taunting. Zaxos looks down at Matisse, uh, realizing where uh, a great deal of that damage reduction came from and is now even more mad. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I'm just saying that if it I'm feeling Ranger, like I'm about to gra- grab um, some aggro because I'm the one that woke Matisse back up. <laughs> if, I'm, I'm just saying if it weren't for all the damage reduction, that would have been at least 76 points of damage. Mm-hmm. 79. 
Yeah, I didn't think he was going to be able to kill me, but I knew that it was bad. That was going to hurt. Uh, So, Matisse, uh, you are prone. It's your turn. Uh, But you can fly. You have the ability to fly. Um, So you would would technically still have to stand up. Uh, But you're still wrapped up in a rope and... You also have uh, Misty Step. Yeah, I can just poof the fuck out of here, so... (laughs) You do it. But then you can fly to go after the bounty hunter, biatch. Yes, I'm going (laughs) to poof to get the fuck out of there. (laughs) I would recommend that you do healing this round, though. Yes. (laughs) Just to tip. So So you're going to stand up and then poof, right? Yes. Okay. So you stand up and you poof where? You you can literally go anywhere in 3D space because you're flying. I'm going to go over there where those stunned uh, automatons are. Over here? Yes. Is that That's more than 30 feet. Uh, well, uh, maybe behind Arvine. Would that work? So you, you can get you can get to this this line where Arvine is on. That's yeah. fine. Okay. So where do you want to be on this line? Uh, put me right We'll be right next there. to your girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. So you missed your step up there. So. That, that's a bonus right. action. Now the question is, do you use all the lay on hands or do you save a little bit of it for somebody else? Um, I could, I think, use a circle of healing. No, the circle of protection won't. It won't heal you. Oh. I'm trying to do see if to... there's any kind of magical yeah. thing I could do. I, I don't know that there's anything that other than lay on hands that will heal you on the large scale. But you can fly, so you've got a little bit of mobility to dodge away from things. Okay, so... All right, so I guess I'll use my lay on hands then to heal me as much as I can. Let's see. Is that going to be your turn? Um, I think that's all I can do. You got three squares of normal movement if you wanted to like move away from me a bit to spread out, but it's up to you. I mean, you wanted to stand next to you, so that's right, buddy. Yeah, Yeah, if you want to be next to me, that's cool too. Arvin likes her buddy. (laughs) I think move me over just one for the reason that here to make yeah that makes it less of a groupy target. All right, so I'm gonna use all of my. So I'm gonna move on from Greg. Matisse. On my lay on hands, okay. just about. Uh, so we're on to uh, legendary actions. So I used one there. I have another one here. So Arcanos doesn't have a whole lot of options. Uh, but the Crunchy Sorcerer looks good to shoot at. Pew! Shoot at the Crunchy Sorcerer. Uh, let's see. Uh, laser pistol. Uh, is he 27 on Jamie? Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, for 13 fours. Okay. All right. And then Zaxos gets a legendary action. I'm no longer concentrating on anything. Nobody Zaxos, Traberk. I'm not concentrating on anything right now. Um, okay, so let's see. All right, so I am not bloody anymore. Not bloody anymore. Okay. Take the bloody marker off there. Okay. So, Daxos. So it's going to disappear. Oh no. Drax Rude! And then we're on to Milfoy, actually, who is going to pick us off. The <laughs> he did. He did. I sucker! <laughs> He'd been forced off the board. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <I-o>. <laughs> <laughs> Preview. <laughs> <Okay>. Timestamp. <laughs> we can't see the timestamp pencil unless Chris shows it. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're on to uh, uh, 
of the shock troopers. So people have cover up there and they have laser weapons. People down here do not. Uh, so, although actually they, they, they have movement now, there's no stupid wall in the way. But, the, but those, both those statements are still true though. So let's go. Imperial remix of the Imperial March. I love the remix. <laughs> yes, cool. put in a big clump, big clump, nice big clump. There. I was thinking what Jamie said. <laughs> We're gonna open up a laser blast on Jeannie. Oh. Good thing she's a tanky sorceress. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> Do you have shields? Back number one. No. Well, ish. Uh, AC 16, Jeannie? Uh, it meets, it beats, yes. Dot that hits. So that's eight force. Okay. Ooh, I see 12. Miss. B. 22. Ooh, 22 hits. for 9. And then natural 20. For 17. Eek. Oof. B. Natural 20. Holy crap. Oh, no. Stop oh, it. Oh, no. He might do 3 points of damage. Or 18. Ouch. <laughs> Second attack is easy. 18 for 7. And then last two from D. Almost a critical. Uh, AC 29. Eek. For, for 10. Okay. And then AC 20 for 7. Wow. Okay, Me well, too. that was a painful round. I'm very bloody. Mm. I think you need to give them some hugs. <laughs> All right. They shoot you three times each? Uh, two. Twice each. It oh. just took eight hits. I... Um, so now it is legendary. It took 76 points of damage that round, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> so Arkanos is going to shoot with his laser pistol again. Keep focusing on Janie. Is he 14? not going to get you. Nope. Oh, oh he sucks. Uh, and then, um, all right, Zaxos. Uh, Okay, so there's uh, there's no legendary action from Zaxos. Then we go on to Arcanaz, who has no idea that Janie has fire resistance. <laughs> so Arcanaz <laughs> is going to fly over. Oops. It's going there. Shoot some fire on Janie. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh. Okay, so. Uh, that's an 18 plus 2 because I'm within range of Matisse. Correct. Okay. So 20. So 20. So you succeed on the save, and, and you are resistant to fire damage, right? Yep. Okay. So this would be 15. Uh, but then it is halved to seven. Uh, seven. 
and then have to three. Three. Okay. okay. So so learning has occurred. Axos now realizes that that doesn't work well on you either. You shot my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Strax, Hobgoblin, Artificer, and Strax. Stunned Construct. Uh, he shot my hair, Strax. <laughs> <laughs> He singed you just a touch. Okay, um, I know. Okay, so I know that Zaxos is Oof. invisible. Right. Although, you, uh, you but might do not I have wear. a? Um, let's see. Oh, actually, hang on. It may not matter. Uh, do I know where he is? Because usually we know where he is in, with invisibility. Oh, okay. just, we just. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, you know, you know where he is. Okay. Um, I am going to okay, uh, reach into my pouch, uh, pull out this, looks like this weird little ball thing, uh-huh. and throw it in his general direction. And it suddenly just kind of hovers around there and a sphere just whoop, appears around him. Uh, he can make a dexterity saving throw to avoid this. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, 14. Fail. DC was 21. I'm going to say. Legendary resistance. Uh. Burn those resistances. You got to do it somehow. All right. Well, he just manages to get out of um, a uh, Autolux resilient sphere. Okay. Time. It, uh. <laughs> I mean, you, you can hear Zaxos, you know, in that space where Zaxos was before, mm-hmm. and um, and it tries to, I tries to open around, but then it just kind of collapses and falls to the floor with no effect. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good job. Uh, that was action, and for all the things I have for bonus actions, uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you were you were on deck, Junie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, most of my bonus action stuff requires my droids, which are <laughs> somewhat incapacitated. Uh, yeah, I'm not down enough to need to worry about sucking wind or anything. Uh, well, and I can't do that unless... Sucking I, wind. Unless I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then what I am going to do... Out of me. Okay. I wonder if I should do that. I am going to. Okay. Um, I'm going to also reach into my pouch. Or right, first of all, I am going to uh, action splurge. Okay. Uh, action splurge. Did I use my action splurge. In case, where is my action splurge? Yep, there it is. Action splurge. Uh, reach in, also reach into my pouch and pull out a brooch and toss it to Janie. Uh, where it attaches to her and kind of gives you a little jolt and energizes you and gives you haste. Okay. Now Janie has haste. Cool. I don't know what that means. (laughs) Until the spell ends, the target speed is doubled. You gain plus two bonus to AC. 
you have advantage on dexterity saving throws, and you gain an additional action on each of your turns. Does that get around the spell casting limitation? It does. Because yeah. you're not casting a bonus action spell. That's why you know, oh. that's why I was just just able to cast two leveled spells because I action splurged. Okay. And I never cast it cast a bonus level spell. Bonus action spell. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. That is. So I can. I'm sorry. Can you give it to me one more time? Sure. Until the spell ends, the target's speed is doubled. You gain a plus two bonus to your AC. Okay. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws. And you get an additional action on each of your turns. Okay. The act. Oh, sorry. There's a limitation here. The action can only be used to take the attack, one weapon only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. So, no, sorry, you can't cast a second spell. But she could use her cloak. But you could use your cloak. You can use an object. Mm-hmm. Robe, whatever it is. Or the robe. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying so I to could protect use, you. So I could use that and cast a spell and do a bonus action. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I think That's I good to know. Some really solid protection because Strax is being a good protective brother right now. And okay. plus two AC was the big thing I really wanted yeah, to Yeah, he put it on you and not one of the fightery types, even Arvine getting disintegrated and stuff because he, he thinks you need it more. And I, I think that's yeah. valid for sure. Because so, <laughs> he's a good bro. It's the best I can do because unfortunately my only healing spell is touch. Um, <laughs> healing word, man. Do you even mm-hmm. get that? Is that your turn? Could, but I think this is a better use of my of my. Uh, uh, are your constructs out of their stuns yet? Uh well, let's find out. Number <laughs> uh, the. Uh, They're within thirty feet of Matisse, so they get the buff. Okay, so true. I have to get an eighteen or better on each of them. So SDO two, get to two. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, GH eighty eight gets an eight. Get to ten. <laughs> oh jeez. So, so moving on. Okay. Dr. <laughs> with haste. Oh, she. Oh, okay. I thought Andre. she was stuck. No, 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 she's. No, I'm trying to figure out how to add the armor class bonus in so that I don't forget it. Because I will. Um, okay. So, with that hastiness, Here is I. Better. Am going to first cast magic missile with my well. I'm gonna rip a, another star off my robe. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cast that charge. That's gonna be seven darts. They're all gonna go after Mr. Fly Guy. Okay. Arcanos. Seven darts. Hit my magic missiles. Boom. Sixteen plus seven. That's twenty-three force damage. At him. He's flying around up there. Bam, 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 bam. He's hit with the missiles. Okay. Wild turd? I am. Oh, no, sorry. That, that was not a wild turd. That was not a spell. That's not a spell. Not a spell. Um, <laughs> I am then going to cast Globe of Invulnerability on myself at eighth level. Ooh, good call. Globe of Invulnerability on yourself at eighth level. Okay. So a shimmering barrier springs into existence in a ten foot radius around myself. <clears throat> uh, Zaxos is going to attempt to kind of fill that. So it, it is six level spell, you said. You said eight. I'm sorry, eight. You said eight, yeah. I did say eight. Yes. Okay. So the DC uh, is uh, 10 uh, plus the spells. So he's trying to counterspell it with a 6th level, level counterspell? He's trying to do it with a 5th um, level counterspell. Okay, uh, I'll... Um, it, it's a 4th it, it's a, it, a level counterspell. 
He's running to go with a fourth level counter spell. Oh, well, I'll counter his fourth level counter spell okay. with a fourth level counter spell. Ooh. <laughs> Some crazy Hogs War, Hogwarts mage dueling <laughs> stuff going on here. Uh, so Flashy can, lights so, going on. Uh, can you read the description for Globe? Yeah. Um, any spell of fifth level or lower cast from outside the barrier can't affect creatures or objects within it, even if the spell is cast using a higher level spell spot. Such a spell can target creatures and objects within the barrier, but the spell has no effect on them. Similarly, the area within the barrier is excluded from the areas affected by such spells. Um, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of 7th level or higher, the barrier blocks spells of 1 level higher for each slot level above 6th. So at 8th level, it's 8th level or lower. It blocks 8th level spells or lower. Yep. And that's a 10-foot radius around me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did they so, Yes. It doesn't move, though. So it doesn't move with me. But if anybody wants to come into it, they can. And it only protects against magical damage. So. And then. And then. <laughs> and then. And then. I actually. Hmm. Do not have it and then. Could I reach? Well, I have a 250 foot reach. I could firebolt up into the air, right? I'm sorry, what? Um. Even though he's up in the air, could I send a firebolt up and up at an angle to hit what's his face? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I will use my um blit. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. blit. <laughs> ah! I will use my quickened spell. <laughs> <laughs> and use two sorcery points to convert one of my <laughs> cantrips and attempt a firebolt at um, the bounty hunter. I have a question for John based on what he just did. Can you do a le- another leveled spell because of haste in this situation? Uh, no, he specifically says you cannot use it to cast a spell. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember now you corrected yourself. Yep. And that'll be um, 26 to hit. Uh, that does hit. And so this is a firebolt. It's 4 D10s coming at you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'll be for 30 fire. That's a good firebolt. Ooh. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Feel it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was, uh, it was how much damage? 30. 30 from a firebolt. Ouch, the fire uh, singes in a vulnerable spot and the Mandalorian armor. Okay. Uh, did you roll wild surges for either of those spells? I did not yet. <laughs> I'm going to just roll an advantage d20. Or actually, I can just roll it as two d20s. All right, so that was a six and a 15, so I did not wild search. Okay. <laughs> this that, time. That's Janie's turn? That is Janie's turn. Okay. Jesus. Uh, effective <laughs> turn. Top round five, we still have some stunned constructs. Uh, Matisse and Irene are up on the upper level. Janie's kind of in the middle of those two levels on the ramp, but she has global vulnerability around her. We have a bunch of um, fresh shock troopers and invisible Axos. And uh, Strax, somewhere down near where Zaxos is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the um, way, he did say I knew where Zaxos is. Can you put him on the board? He's here. You're the only one that knows. Uh, you're the only one that knows where he is, Oh, okay. Um. Uh, question: Why did Ar- yeah. Arcanos move to the right? Because the Globe of Invulnerability doesn't physically move things. Say what now? Did, did I put him what? back in the wrong spot? Yeah, he was like I up over these guys Strax were, were before. Am I wrong? I, I thought that he was up over 
to our view, he was up over Strax, but I think that means he's actually like two squares further up. Like, I'd like to know where on, on the on the grid he is no, I think, over. I think he was here, because I think on his turn he moved. Yeah. He was right. Okay. He, yeah, you had to move him in order to draw to the circle. Can you do me a favor yeah. and yeah. point on, on the grid where he actually is at? Okay, so that takes... <laughs> That's way different than where I thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 20 feet of movement gets me there? Correct. Okay. Well, no, uh, 15 feet can get you adjacent. Okay, 15 feet? Yeah. All right. Uh, so Arvine launches at him. Uh, she is going to burn a fighting spirit and get some temporary hit points and advantage okay. on attacks. Okay. So what's that? Mark it off so don't lose track. Just give me a sec. Mark it off. Mark it off the book. <laughs> okay. All right. So with advantage with the laser swords, here we go. Okay. Swing. Wow. One and a five. Super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so, five, 13. That is going to hit AC 18. Yes. Ooh. Akanas uh, uses the forearm to deflect your new sword. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try one more time. Uh, sneak attack dice on. Attack number two. Uh, AC 20. AC 20. Uh, that hits. All right. So she hits. She gets sneak attack. Swashbuckler fun. <laughs> uh, Surprised you don't have a smite, too. She's smite. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, supposed to give me Jesus. a boo on that. Supposed to give me a boo on that, Greg. Wah 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 wah. He's like, <laughs> it was so bad I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> she said something about a smite, and, and John said that she didn't know if she had that, and I said she she smite. <laughs> uh, so that <laughs> Greg, is uh, Greg gets camp right now. Fifty six. Magical force damage. Okay, you, you find a weak spot. You make all your armor. Big, huge hit. Still flying. <laughs> oh man! Ah, uh, you know what? She she is pissed, and she is going to stay engaged with him right there. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, put me uh, uh like towards the wall, engaged with him back behind them yeah. uh no on the bottom if there's yeah. room on the bottom. yeah right there okay, okay. Is that Arvine's turn that is turn that's all she can do actually Chris can can I walk one thing back now that I'm thinking a little more clearly given it, uh, it depends on what it is Kate okay uh, I would like to end my turn having... Is there a place where I can be adjacent to... Um, what's his face? But also in, in the globe of invulnerability. Uh, it's really hard for me to see what the angle that the map is at. Goes up. There. I believe okay. that that is in the globe. Okay. I believe, yeah. Okay. Because it, it goes up to the third square. All right. And, and the two of you are in the third square. So okay. There. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so that was our mini Asmar Fighter Road. And now we're on to some legendary actions. Uh, so let's see. So this person is right in front of Arcanos. Uh... 
doesn't have a lot of great options here. Um, <laughs> well, actually, no, there is one. There is one. Uh, okay, so... Uh, well, probably not the best against Arvine, but... Uh, Arkanos shoots the fiber cord whip at Arvine. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. So it tries to wrap around, but you move out of the way. Gets retracted back into the forearm. So then we have Zaxos' legendary action. Let's see. Um, Zaxos. Yeah, sure, why not? Zaxos goes next. There's nothing from there's nothing from, from Zaxos. But then Zaxos appears right next to Strax. Uh-oh. Oh. oh no. Hey, squid face. Kinda of figured he was gonna. Yeah, trying to make an attack on you. Uh, With disadvantage. He can try. So regular regular attack. So it's AC 28. Hmm. That's a press. Oh, that's right. I dropped down my head. Uh, yeah, I got nothing to do about that. That's a hit. Okay. That's really high for a disadvantage. <laughs> Yikes. It was a straight up attack because he went from invisible, so it gave him advantage, yeah. canceled by disadvantage. Uh. And and he's the big bad, so he's probably rolling. Yeah, plus I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> so it is 20, 22, uh, 22 psychic damage, and you are grappled. And um, I are grappled. As the metal face tentacles wrap around Strax's face, you see Zaxos appear in that in that position yeah. with the tentacles around Strax's face. The moment before that, Strax kind of shudders for a second, and then bam. Zaxus appears with the tentacles around Strax's face. So you Heat take, metal! Uh, so, so, you, so you take the psychic damage, and then I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. An intelligence saving throw. Yep. Ah, this is going to be a difficult one, but I can try. <coughs> this is the big bad. I don't know if... Oh, wait. I'm within... You're, you're within 30 feet of Matisse. You, you are. 21. You get plus two. Uh, 21. That's probably going to do it. Let me just double check here. Okay. So you are so you are not stunned, but you yeah. are grappled. <laughs> okay. I'm confused. I thought Greg wasn't grappled when, when he made the save. Because I had a ring. Yeah. Oh, he has, he has that's right. Oh, okay. You had a thing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ring of free movement. Zaxos' turn is grappling onto Strax. So <laughs> to uh, uh, Matisse, <laughs> the evil pal. All right. Uh, now I can do something. I'm going to go up there where Arvine is and flank with her. Okay. Since I can be up in the air. Yeah, you can fly, you can fly, you can really fly. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I have one advantage attack that I did not do. Uh, that was only to the end of your turn, but you have advantage anyway. You have oh, advantage for flanking, flanking so flanking, yeah. you're, you're good, man. Heal was more important at that point in time. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> And I got to critical, and I'm going to smite on that. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> you can't really do that over Zoom. It just doesn't sound yeah. coordinated. It's still fun. All right, so I'm gonna use a level. I use a level four smite on him. All right. So how many? I've rolled two dice already. So that is four dice for the critical, and then two extra dice for level. Um. Is that right? So you need to roll uh, what, what level? Whatever you your doing? normal dice would be, double it. What level of smite are you doing, Greg? A level four. So did you already roll some damage dice? Yes, I rolled two. Okay, so but I didn't roll so for the critical. You need to do two yet. more of that, and you need to do ten smite dice for the critical. Oh, smite. okay. So you need so to roll me... twelve more d8s. Okay, let me get all of those. Big money. Yeah. <laughs> Big money. Yeah. Big money. Big money. And I happen to have 12 of them, too. How about that? Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, can you hear all the dice shake in there? Oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, there's some some eights in there. Whoops. I got to re-roll that one because that one was a percentile die. Four, sixty-five plus nine. So that's going to be seventy-three. Nice. Is that right? <laughs> seventy-three. Okay, so you fly up there in a flank with our beam on the Banhana Red Armor. Uh, you smash him on the neck and a weak point, the Mandalorian armor, and you kill Arcanos. Yes! yes! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Beheaded. Beheaded. With a flash of divine energy. Man. Told you. He killed you, just kill him right back. Yeah. Well, what he didn't turn deserves kill. He wasn't the one that killed him. No, he wasn't. Actually, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, still right. a, you still have an extra attack there, too, bro. Ah. You could fly on down there and try and disconnect some tentacles from Drax's you, head. You could try to shove him off, or I don't know if Chris would let you cut him off. But I don't know what the options uh, are. See. How does that work, Chris? Uh, oh. what's, what's your speed, Greg? You have five feet of movement after if you have 30 feet. Yeah. Oh. So you can, mm. be like, you can be like here. Where? I can't see where you are. I'm sorry. Oh. I can't. I can't it's... Okay, so that would be where I would be on the bottom. Correct. Well, I mean, you could still be in the air, but if you wanted to come down, you would be down here. Okay. Or you could just stay up high and not make... You'd be less of a target, right? Because if you're not on the ground. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do in any He's of my spells. He's wrapped around a strax. I don't think you guys are much of a target. <laughs> uh, do you think this thing I has... I just saying. <laughs> All right. I mean, if he so moves I, down, if he moves down diagonally one square, does that put him next to him, or no? He's still a square away, right? That that is diagonal. I'm not worried. Okay. This my brain's too much for this guy to handle. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I know you're par- barfing on the inside. It's okay. Yep. Is that, is that your turn, Greg? <laughs> um, I guess much. put me. Yeah, I guess that is my turn. Can you shoot something, or is he not able to draw a weapon? Because I'd have He's to put extra. my weapon I, I think down. that's his turn. Yeah. He drops right. his laser sword somewhere. Okay, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Okay. Moving on. Uh, so, legendary actions. Uh, this is just, <laughs> just for Zaxos now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Zaxos went... Zaxos wet, but he couldn't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be peed. He just peed on you. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first to do so out of fear. 
<laughs> so he's still attacking with disadvantage, right, Kate? Because of your time. Correct. Yep. Okay. So. Hmm. <laughs> kind of lost my graveliness and just kind of went all. You go <laughs> edgy <again>. demon. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Yeah. I don't want to do this just for the this next move, just for the what I think it's gonna do to the shock troopers. <laughs> do it. You're doing what I'm thinking. Uh, you want to? Do you want to shock it. the shock troopers? <laughs> Okay, so, so Zaxos <laughs> has the metal face and it's wrapped around Trax's face. Uh, sees Arkanos go down, knows the meal fall is long dead, and there is this very uh, familiar wave of psychic energy that washes out and strikes in Janie's direction. Zaxos is using its mind blast again. Oh, okay. no. And it is only hitting. Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I have resistance to psychic damage. Ten. Ten. Well, and you're in a globe of invulnerability. So how does that work? It it no, uh, it depends on if it's a spell. Okay. Or so spell. no, it's not a spell. Uh, that's where that's what I was checking. It's not a spell. Okay. Um, yeah. So just like before, Janie would have resistance to the damage, but the saving throw is still so there. So it's going to hit Strax, Arvine, uh, Janie, and the Jorah. It's not that that. Well, actually, I mean, oh, the, the, the Jorahs do take damage. It mm-hmm. actually does hit Arvine. I thought you, yeah. you had only said, okay. All right. I was just counting so, it out. It, it doesn't hit Matisse, but it uh-huh. comes up. It's, it's, it's a cone. It's coming out like That's in all directions good. like this. So, That's um, not good at all. So Zaxo's trying to get a handle on the situation uses its its mind blast again. Okay. So it was an intelligence saving throw? An intelligence saving throw from Strax and Arvine and Janie and uh, I guess the droids would make the save just because of the damage even though they're already stunned. Okay. So yes. So everyone can please make your saving throws and uh, everybody except the again the, the droids don't matter, but the droids don't get the bonus from Matisse. The, the droids do matter. But everybody else does. The droids absolutely matter. How dare you? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <sighs> What'd you get, Sarah? Three. Is, does that include my plus? Well, it probably doesn't. Five help with the three, with the bonus. Uh, yeah, I don't... I could get you up to 10. I'm not going to do anything. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. I got 22. Yep. Uh, droid number one. There's no bonus on any of these. <laughs> for that now. Got 12. Second one. Got one. So... <laughs> okay. Um... I got 21, and I guess the question is, Strax, is there any doubt in Strax's brain that whether that would fail or succeed for me? It's going to succeed. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've, okay. I've saved on that one before. Okay, so 21. 21. 21, 22, 3. Uh, the droids probably just failed, right? Yeah, the droids just failed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, unfortunately, Jamie is done again. And the damage is uh, so. Number eight. Eight, 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 eight. One. Two. Spot. So it's five D eight. Uh, actually, wait. Sorry. Uh, so or take that and just done. Hey, Janie, don't you still have your Ties of Chaos? You can give yourself advantage on the saving throw. I do. You do? 
I do. Cool. Use it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do me much good, but yeah. I and mean, your your range of Matisse. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Big money. <laughs> Seven. Oh. Oh. Okay. Arg. It was worth trying, though. It was important. And Sorry. now it's gone. So. Mm -hmm. uh, 14. Uh, it is uh, 25 psychic damage. I'm resistant to psychic, so it's 12. Uh, correct. Uh, yes. So 12 to me and 25 20. to the two droids. So if no, we no, no, made no. the save... If, no, if, if you made the save, you take nothing. It's basically oh, like... You made... it, oh, it's okay. all or nothing. Correct. It's okay. all or nothing. Oh, okay. Back up. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a powerful ability, <laughs> but it's not that powerful. Oh, okay. I thought it was safer half. No, it's all okay. or nothing. Uh, 25. Well, that, that was less effective than Zaxos was hoping, but... Uh, uh, let's see. GH88 is almost dead. Okay. <laughs> Uh, not that it's mattered much. Uh, SDO one. Where are you? I really don't like the way they rearrange Jeez. this. Don't worry about it. Just continue on. Okay, continue on. Okay. So uh, that was legendary action of Zaxos. Did some damage, stunned Janie, and then it is on to the shock troopers. Um. Ooh, let's see. Um, unfortunately, the stun also drops the globe. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, so they are going to... Hmm. They would probably, unfortunately, go after Dini. Uh, let's see. Arvine and them... They were both deflecting lasers. Yeah, they, they, they would start with Janie. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see. This is the D. Come on. D8. Okay. Trooper A. Uh, AC 14 is going to miss you, even though you're stuck. Uh, second attack. Uh, AC 18 for 8. I'm down. Uh, hey, you're not stunned anymore. <laughs> it's, it's true, you're not stunned. Uh, so then, uh, Shock Trooper B is going to start shooting at Strax. Uh, Bring it. AC 20 for 7. Shield. Shield, okay. Uh, so, what do we got to hit now? You now have to hit 24. 24. Uh, okay. So, Magical Shield goes up. And. Uh, the targets are either that person or the people that deflect lasers. Um, uh, yeah, they'll still go for strikes. Attack number two is AC 19. That's not going to get you. Uh, C, 16. C number two, 17. All right, D's not going to shoot there. <laughs> D's going to shoot up with the D's. <laughs> D... 14, boo. Nope. 18, boo. Nope. That was a crappy round for those guys. All right. Yay, shock troopers. Jay. Shock troopers. They <laughs> took out our sorcerer. I wouldn't call that all that crappy. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Sorcerer, sorcerer is down. Um, uh, so now it is Axos, and he does not have a stunned target like he was hoping. Because that would have been sucking your brains out, Strax. <laughs> if you had failed that save, you'd be sucking your brains out right now. Also a shame. Uh, okay. Um, but actually, no. I'm sorry. That, that's that's not even true. So we are we are moving beyond that actually towards Strax. It is your turn. Uh, okay. Well, and I am grappled, so I cannot you move. All right. That would have been really cool if it had stunned three people. <laughs> that, that, that would have been much yeah. better. That stupid Matisse and his bonuses. 
Uh, then I am going to... Stupid Zaxos and his mechanical <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I gotta save the river if I. Uh, <laughs> just, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. just, in, just in case I can get over there. Well, I'm not dead yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, no, you're dead. No, you're just. <laughs> We're all dead yet. <laughs> all dead yet. <laughs> They're all dead, Dave. All right. I uh, do have a spell I picked up called Raise the Dead, so. <laughs> well, you also have a river fire, which is, yes. which is much better. In in combat like this, yeah. yeah in combat, yeah. Like Less penalties. You know, if, if I had a functional droid that could walk around and you know Heal do people. healing, be that'd great. be nice. That'd be great. <laughs> Those bots <laughs> that you spent all campaign with that have been neutralized <laughs> for this entire combat. Basically, it's almost yeah. like that was on purpose. <laughs> Not really. It was just that. It was just so that he used that one first. Collateral damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first after he killed Urena. Sure. So, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. He gave her uh, a if John, scanner. If John had rolled a high initiative. That would the droids would be probably still in the fight. Yeah. Oh well. You treated her to a version of scanners that she did not like. Hey, I like that reference, Greg. Yeah. Well, I don't really have a. I mean, I, I suppose I could attempt to break the grapple. Uh, uh, you can't attempt I mean, to break the grapple, yes. If you hit him, John, don't you have something where you've healed people at a distance before? Uh, and I realize I'm talking about you breaking my charm on him, but we're kind of getting to that point anyway. Yeah, we are kind of at that point. Uh, yeah. But I think that depends on. I think I actually have to have my uh, dog up. Available. Uh, Give me a second. Thought, that may yeah. not be the case. That may not be the case. <laughs> Juliana <laughs> agrees. I think thought it was just an <laughs> artificery. We're probably going to have to go to a third session. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, you wanted an epic you? fight. You're getting an epic Archangel. fight. Yeah. I mean. I mean. I. I mean. Just. Just looking at the. Uh, look. Look. Looking at the undamaged shock troopers and the undamaged Zaxos. Oh yeah. boy! <laughs> but at least we're getting rid of most of the most of the uh, status effects. Um, but okay, no, I take that back. For some reason, I had it in my brain that Ar Archangel only worked if I had the uh, had my Steel Defender in play. But that is not actually the case. And with Grappled, um, you aren't you don't have disadvantage on the attack. You get a normal attack with Grappled. Well, he's not invisible anymore anyway. So, if you make an attack uh, on him, um, it's just, as far as I know, you're not restrained. It just says yep. grapple. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can make attacks, just just regular attacks. Yep. Plain old, just wail on him. It's time. You are right up in his face. About that time. I, I am. Right yeah, I mean, his face is on you. No. Okay. So, no, I'm just going to see if about I can time, maxim <laughs> maximize my availability here. Right over. Uh, oh, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to do that. And Janie wakes up. Fires the missiles. <laughs> He's pontificating. Did you do either of these that require me using my? <laughs> Love you. Let's see. That was a maximum eye roll. <laughs> what I'm here for? Uh, nobody's in. Nobody's in attack range of him, are they? Of uh, whom? Um, no. Of Not Zeta. yet. No. Okay. Not yet. Uh, well, I technically am, but <laughs> that could be some maximum cheese. Wake her up so she can cast something from the floor. Uh, <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, actually. Uh, how uh, how far away is um, our uh, our Vina Matisse from him? Um, we're both in the third square, so we're only ten feet up. Yeah. Uh, so hold on. So you're ten feet away from him. So or, five, ten, fifteen. 5, 10, 5, oh, 10, 15, 15. 20. So, so Matisse is 15, um, Arvind is 20. Okay. okay. That here is what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to start by making an attack without penalty. 
using the hand crossbow? Uh, using my hand crossbow. Okay, so you have a disadvantage because you're making a range mm. attack. No, he has crossbow uh, no, expert. I have, I have crossbow <laughs> expert. Oh, so, okay. I'm good with that. We have been discussing this the entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Chris is tracking 200 things this fight. <laughs> I know. I don't know okay. if that's ever come up, though, because he's always shooting from a distance. No, <laughs> it's come up <laughs> multiple times. That's all right. It's not a You're lying. No, I am not. <laughs> Chris is a butt. Where are my maneuvers? Why does Sarah lie maneuvers, on maneuvers, maneuvers, maneuvers. DM me jockeying the rules works both okay. ways. <laughs> okay. So, so you're, you're shooting. Fire number one. Put your crossbow bolt right in his face. Pew. Um, hit him. He shoots AC... it right up over his head. <laughs> <laughs> AC 32. I think that might. Be. Ooh, okay. Ooh, nice. They're taking the penalty. <laughs> and that was not a critical. Oh, um, dang, dude. Uh, range. Okay. And I am putting a uh, com- uh, maneuvering attack on that. Uh, so he, it does uh, six, eleven, plus another six on there for seventeen damage. And Matisse, you can move up to half. You can use your uh, reaction to move up to half your speed. Oh, so I can move right now. You can move right now. All right, you can move I move right, right now yep. and go down there and uh, get, get up in his face. Okay, fire number two. Fire number two. His axis has been damaged and no longer has the stupid thing from our being. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. uh, Hit uh, AC 20. 20 on his axis. AC tracker. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. What's up a shield? Oh. What's up a shield? Okay. What's up a shield? Um, it all right. it's up to you. <laughs> they only put up a shield if it would have hit. Okay, uh, for my third action, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's going to require him using another reaction, which you can't do. That kind of sucks. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, so for my third attack. I am going to shove him. Uh, you can't move him further away than where he is. Huh? You can't move him oh, back. Oh, is the wall behind him? Correct. Yeah. You can't move him back. You can move him five feet this way or this way, but he's still within melee reach of you, which doesn't break the grapple. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a wall behind him. There is a wall behind okay. him. There is a wall behind him. This is the okay. new screen on the far wall here. This is a wall. And I still have my bonus action attack. Mm. Doesn't do me any good on any of that. Okay. Then I'll just simply take my third attack. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to trip attack him. Uh, okay. I don't know if that would break the grapple. <laughs> no, but it'd knock him prone. <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would be technically prone. Hanging onto your face. <laughs> uh, AC... Let's see. AC a lot. Um, 29. Uh, that gets you the shield. Okay. Uh, for... Uh, see, 6, 10, 13 damage. And he has to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Right. Twenty. Ah, uh, he makes it. Right. Hey, that was just a straight roll. I rolled the critical yeah. on that one. <laughs> no legendary resistance. <laughs> oh well. Is that your turn? That is all I've got to play with. Were you able to use Arcane Gel on any of those attacks, Trev? Uh I did, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me, yes. Uh, yeah, since I did land an attack, um, I get to use uh, Arcane Jolt to... Uh, let's see. Once per turn... Okay, 46. One, two, three. Once per turn when you have an attack, you do extra damage. I, do, I can do extra damage, or I can do healing. 
Janie, you gained 16 hit points. Nice. Okay, so Janie is no longer unconscious. She's Second question. Any death saving throws. Nice. <laughs> Uh, with John with the grapple, is he able to sidestep if he wanted to get into flanking with Matisse? Um, my yeah. speed is zero. No, a grapple doesn't make your speed zero. Yes, it does. Yes, oh, it does. does. Yes, oh, okay. Absolutely. I thought restrained did. So restrained my bad. Also, restrained also gives you zero. Rod, Roger, Roger. Roger. Give you zero. Okay. Okay, that's turn. All right, uh, Jane. <laughs> I'm late. You stand up. Yeah, Strax. I will stand up. That yeah. was awesome, Strax. Was Good job. Speed. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. It, Strax has this magical energy shoot off of him and heal his sister. Oh man, I know. What, I think I know what Jamie wants to do. <laughs> and with the anger that is now so pent up inside her. <laughs> Janie is going to unleash the power of her mind and just blast the intellect of, of, of all of her enemies around her. Okay. And she's going to cast Psychic Scream. Okay. <laughs> nice. And I guess I realize that um, Psychic Damage is probably not going to hurt Zaxos much, if at all. But oh, um, no. I'm really excited to see what this what happens yeah. to uh, <laughs> the shock troopers. So everybody <laughs> needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Is that a ninth level spell? It is the ninth level spell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Those usually hurt. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Okay, what's the DC, Jane? DC is 19. 19, okay. Seven, Those shock trippers are really SMRT. Intelligent. Smart. <laughs> okay, so everybody fails. Everybody fails. Okay. Zaxos, everybody fails, but Zaxo chooses a legendary reaction. Uh, okay. Sorry, uh, I'll Okay. okay, so on a failed saving throw, they take full damage, which in this case is 14d6, which I rolled already. It's 58. If this kills them outright, their head explodes. <laughs> uh, no, Assuming they have one. No, nobody's head explodes. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to explode. Are any of them bloody? <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, I was hoping to explode some heads. <laughs> That's still massive damage, though. <laughs> to a lot of people, yeah. It's like 250 points probably total, broken up among everybody yeah, when they, all is said and done. Do they take half on a, sex, on, a, on a success? Oh, they're also all stunned. Oh, and stunned. Okay. <laughs> nice. They can make an intelligence saving throw at the end of its turn to try to... And the effects of the stun, but I think they were already stunned, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on a success, it's half damage and no stun? Yes. So that would be uh, 29. That's half, right? That's 50. Yes. Well, it's 56, so 28. Oh, but you said everybody failed. Oh no, it was 58, so 29, you're right. Sorry. Um, yeah, Zaxos failed, but he used a, he burned a legendary. Right. So. so hopefully he still takes damage. We'll see. But yeah. the shock troopers well, we'll are all massively damaged and stunned. Yep. <laughs> which is awesome. So they will they were... not be pelting uh, <laughs> Janie with. Uh... <laughs> Janie pissed off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ever forget, Do you have any objects that can cast fireball? No, I think I'm thinking of other games. Yeah, I think you were. I think we had a yeah. necklace of fireballs on one, in another game or something. Yes. All right. Because right. takes some of the damage. Um, does not stun. The uh, shock troopers take all the damage. They are not bloody, but they are stunned. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, um, so this is the this is the end of round five, and uh, we're going to stop here. So we have two droids that are still stunned. 
and we have the four shock troopers who are not bloodied and they are all stunned. We have Zaxos, um, who is grappling Strax with his metal face tentacles. <laughs> and our and um, Matisse, the other paladin, is right is right next to uh, Zaxos and um, Strax. And then we have uh, Janie, who just cast the text psychic screen, and she is at very low hit points. <laughs> 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 and then we have Arjun, who is flying from the air right now. And uh, Arkanos and Neofor uh, are both dead. And uh, so I'll take a picture of this. And so is Yuria. And mm-hmm. well, yeah, her brain, uh, Yurina's brain is still been sucked out. Oh, um, God. <laughs> so actually, you can, you can kind of see it in his teeth right now. It's actually, yeah. You can kind of see the brain. Here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I can't, so. oh, there's no getting the brain back and I'm sticking going. it back in her head. No, okay. there isn't. It's it's in Zaxos's belly. No. He's gonna get he's gonna get killed in an extra harsh way. <laughs> Matisse is thinking. Okay. So uh, with that, we will pick up here next time. <laughs> oh, I didn't roll to see if I wild searched. Okay, you can do that. You can do that. Sorry. It'd be funny if he did. And you get to, and you get. Oh my God! I rolled a one. (laughs) (laughs) Mirror spell. Mirror spell. Mirror spell. Yes. (laughs) Go two d one hundreds. Oh wait, two d one. Why did it do that? I don't know why it did it that way. Hold on. Reroll. Start. Because technology. (laughs) Okay, forty two. Meaning to life, the universe, and everything. All right. And a 60 something. 65. 42 and 65. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. You turn into a potted plant until the start of your next turn. Probably not going to pick that one. And 65 is up to three creatures you choose within 30 feet of you take 4d10 lightning damage. <laughs> oh! Okay, roll it. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The shock troopers are all within 30 feet of me, and it says you choose. 5, 10, 15, they're 20 feet away. Um, so I will pick A, B, and C, and they're going to take 4d10 lightning damage. Do it nice. up. 3, 4... Ooh, those are some good rolls. 32! 32. 32. <laughs> just as... And my light just turned off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you, cast, as, you, as you cast the psychic scream, there's a burst of energy, and then lightning shoots out of you and hits the shock troopers that are stunned. Uh, you were really pissed. And, and that bloodies A, B, and C. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those guys all just took like eighty Wait, something not just points of coin? damage. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got a new, got a new picture. <laughs> so, so with that, let's take it back to the listeners. <laughs> Good night, night, everyone. Good night. Love you. If you enjoyed this podcast please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast, and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated.